I got audiobooks of this over here. You got audiobooks on air? <laughs> How many audiobooks are on air right now? I think I think I still like, try to like, get a free trial. Oh, you tried to get an audible free trial? Yeah, but I haven't. I didn't put in my credit card information. Oh. Yet. Yeah. So we had 30 day free trial, but without yeah. the 30 days. Yeah, not yet. But I signed up. I signed up. I gave them my email. We have everything. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna. Okay, okay, this is great. Now Tessa, go get your your everything you need. We can hear. Okay, cool. Perfect. We're gonna shut this down soon. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of cool live. <laughs> That's it. Yes, it's an in and out, in and out. It's like in and out burger. Okay, we're good. Awesome. In and out burger. Perfect. Okay, Tessa, are you able to get that link? Oh yeah. And share this on all of our social media. Why? We've got lots of social media, right? There's we're so on many. X. We're on Facebook. We got mm -hmm. a Facebook group. We are also on Instagram and all of these social media. Patreon. Apps. That's what we're on Patreon. Yeah, we're not on TikTok yet. Not yet, Not but yet. it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. I know you're hot for TikTok, people. Uh -huh. You mm -hmm. wanna see us do some little short videos, and it's, it will happen. You just need to be like, relax, chill out, yo. Uh -huh. We're getting there. We're, we're getting, getting there. there. Yeah. So right now we're posting this live everywhere that we can on all of our social media to make sure that as many people can come and have a discussion with us because this podcast is called While You we, Wait. You Wait. You Wait. <laughs> For your charging, uh -huh. because we are all about EVs. Well, while you wait for your EV car to charge or truck, I mean, it's just, there's EVs, a lot of stuff now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, you can listen to this podcast because this podcast is on Tesla Supercharger Adventures. Uh -huh. That is the name of our YouTube channel and of all of our social media. Thank you, everybody who is tuning in right now. Ooh. Yeah, Ooh. thank you so much. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. Sunday fun day. Yeah. Plus, well, we have a super interesting subject for us to discuss about today, Sunday, mm -hmm. and that is our gas prices too high. Come in and let's fight. Fight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about it, people. Let's talk about it. So bring in your friends, your family, a coworker. The mm -hmm. nanny that you have, whatever. I mean, just bring them all here. The so mailman. Oh, mailman. Yeah, postman. Yeah, Mr. Postman. Get me the dream. Same thing. Yeah, your gardener. Yeah, gardener, right? Your anyone. Anyone can Down the street. enjoy this podcast because it's a podcast. So you can just listen to it while you're gardening, while you're cooking, while you're waiting for your EV vehicle to charge. Yeah, while you're waiting for popcorn to pop, like the old Jiffy Pop. Oh, you know yeah. that you have to that you have to do on the stove. Uh huh. Like that takes forever, but it's so much better. It's true. What? Oh, yeah. that is so true. Oh, good point. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. so uh, Oz good just point. told us that actually, you know what happens is that well, our gas is price is too high, and since gas is high in Canada, like over two dollars a liter, we don't do gallons in Canada; it's liters. Sorry, USA. <laughs> so the thing is, well, if you are a gardener and you actually do a uh, mow lawns and you have a non-electric um, vehicle, <laughs> so a, a mower, a mower, right? That's a yeah. That's yeah, like, electric so, lawnmower. So if you have an electric lawnmower, you're actually like not paying as much in gasoline. So it should be costing you a lot less. So you can mm -hmm. charge the same price as all the guys that are actually doing non-electric, like are doing gas. Yeah. But take take all that money into your, your pocket. Your own pocket. And then Ooh. you have more money. I think it's best time to start a gardening Yeah, gar yeah. It's definitely the best time to start a gardening business in all electric. Yeah, I don't, do they exist? I'm Plus, like the F Ford, the, yeah, the Ford F one fifty. Actually, like you can plug your your gardening tools on there because you can plug like heavy machinery. Mm -hmm. Same thing with the cyber truck. And exactly. So you buy yes. yourself the cyber truck. You make it all green, yeah. like we saw, like with the vinyl wrap, all green. Mm -hmm. And then, well, you start yourself a gardening company, and you just like mow lawns with electric um, lawn mowers, electric weed eaters, electric mm -hmm. everything. So you charge from like your actual electric vehicle. Yeah. And then, well, you take all that money and you invest in more electric vehicles and in more like equipment. The same price as the gas. Exactly. Yes. You charge the same price as That's the smart. gas one, and you make more money. Yeah, you're gonna make money. You're of course, because yeah, at first obviously spend a little money, but you're gonna make it. Let's yeah, start a gardening business. Let's, we don't have to get down and dirty. No. We can just get down and EV, yeah. Down and EV, easy. 
he's down an EV. Plus, well, the main thing is, like, with gardening and everything that's been happening with EVs, is that, okay, so... The, the EV is really costing you less. Electricity does cost you less. We told we mm -hmm. told that to people, right? Yeah. From like five dollars of EV charging equals approximately sixty dollars yeah. of gasoline. And those are facts. So that's like five versus sixty. That's a big difference in price. Plus the tools like lawn mower, the weed eater, those are pretty much the same price if you buy them gas or EV, I think. So if you have links to the Home Depot, it's time to share them in the live comment section, people. Mm -hmm. I'm Piper. This I'm is Tessa. My super awesome personal assistant, who is also my sidekick uh -huh, on Tesla Supercharger Adventures. Yeah. Now, we are going to go on our first road trip tomorrow, right, yes, Tessa? Yes, we are. Our <laughs> first trial not even trial just like to see how everything goes what yeah. we need what we're missing just in case you know we're get, we're gonna go on a long road trip yeah because that's gonna be like one night two nights we're yeah. not sure yet one or two nights yeah and then we come back now mm -hmm. where are we going tessa we're going to cam loops we're going to fruit loops we're going to fruit loops yeah 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 yeah, yeah excited, oh. people. <laughs> okay who we have in the live comment section dave frank is here what's up dave thank you for tuning in again thank you for your generous donations as well dave yes. did you know that you can all patreon us yeah on yeah. patreon behind <gasps> the scenes behind the scenes things Support that no one can see us. yeah no one can see no. except for you if you're a patreon yeah that's and it that's pretty cool like you get to see what we do every day <laughs> <laughs> like and follow us through with what we do every day yeah plus there's a lot of behind the scenes a lot of like videos short short footage videos a lot of crazy pictures yeah it's all over the place weird all, yeah it's weird you yeah, need to it, see it to believe it like right? i took a picture today i'm not gonna we were eating yeah, you can say it say can, it yeah well but just you won't see it mistress You're, uh mistress made poutine yeah like fresh poutine but we got a little picture but we won't post that one, maybe, because uh -uh. that one's just for Patreon. Exactly, right? just for Patreon. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, it was like a hearty, like countryside poutine. Yeah, it was like countryside was carrots poutine. In it. it was healthy. It was delicious. Yeah. It was delicious. It was with the ribs. Yeah, there was ribs in there. Yeah, three. <laughs> it was not vegan, people. It was not it's vegan. Oh yes, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Link to the Patreon. Cool, link to cool. the Patreon. We have six Patreons. <laughs> Gotta start somewhere. <laughs> Yeah, we appreciate everyone here. Yeah, for our six Patreons, we have three free Patreons. So if ever you don't yet have the means, but you want to stay tuned and you don't know, maybe when you get a little raise or you got a little bit of side money, mm -hmm, well, you can definitely just hop into our patronage, which is $2.97 Canadian dollars, of course, because we mm -hmm. are in Canada. As you can see on my t-shirt, if you are listening to us, well, you can't see, but I'm telling you, there's, what, what's that called? Like a leaf? A, a maple leaf? Yeah. Canadian... Uh, a Canadian maple, maple, maple leaf. Yeah. It's just very, like maple syrup, right? Yeah, that's where it comes from. <laughs> I would made in Canada. Super cool. Okay, so what we got here? Mm -hmm. Max Powers says hello, Piper. Hello, Tessa. Hello, Oz. Hello, hello. <gasps> we are sharing the love. Yeah. Sebastian says Quam Loops or Cam Loops. Yeah, Cam Loops. Is that like your Sebastian? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Hi, Sebastian. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Road trip, let's go. Yes, we are going. We are going on Monday. It's going to be so intense, so amazing. Yeah. And every hour of charge that you give us on Patreon, we will be reusing it during this amazing road trip. Mm -hmm. Because the thing is, you're actually paying our road trip. Uh -huh. So if ever we have a problem or something like that, all yeah. of our patrons are the ones who are supporting us through this amazing experience and adventures. Yes, absolutely. And again, every dream starts with support yeah that's so, so true yeah your support <gasps> helps Hello. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. thank you everybody for being here let's dive into this subject this have we like posted everywhere yeah i believe so i just haven't gone to yeah having i'm gonna have to use your phone okay great i'll be right with you it's gonna be okay it's gonna be okay yeah. people chill out chill out chill now out. gas prices let's get right into this now okay so if you are a real person and you're over like the age of driving <laughs> gas <laughs> gas prices should affect you in general the gas prices affect everybody so tell us right now okay so this is like the introduction so do not worry we're gonna get back to the ev but i want to know how do you feel gas affects you the most like the gas prices affect you the most it can mm -hmm. be anything 
just like put it out there is it really to like you know put some actual fuel in your big 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 suv your caravan for your kids your pickup truck uh, your rv during your vacation time is that what affects you the most about gas prices or is it actually the fact that food is more expensive because it has to be carried around so maybe you buy more local i mean we just want to know anything and everything related to how this gas price that is going up is affecting you right now in the world yeah now that's true well, that's a good point well yeah if we do get to that point where we get evs mm -hmm. and everybody's driving ev will it come back down like with will, will the price of the food and of some of the the things like you know even when you hire like a plumber yeah. he needs to come with his van here yeah like unclog your toilet so he needs to charge you for the gas yes so it does cost I, him more it's incorporated and to go back and if he needs a part or whatever like it's mm -hmm. all included and all, all these included. parts they need to be shipped so most yeah. things are with still gas. shipped so with yeah, gasoline gas, like, and yes so if it is yeah. ev they should charge less so maybe that mm -hmm. could be like you know the ev discount that was applied in, on all v like ev vehicles in canada there was a thing in canada i don't know for the united states of america but when i bought my first chevy volt about like two like the 2015 and then the 2000 um i think it was 17 because they changed the model like really drastically yeah um the thing is i had like an eight thousand canadian dollars like discount we can call it or like incitative yeah so they take eight thousand dollars off the price because the government was considering that you were doing like a good action and they wanted to help help pay so the the chevy volt was approximately i think if i'm not mistaken close to forty six thousand dollars but with the discount eight thousand well yeah i got it like under 40 which which is a good incentive if you're not really thinking about the price necessarily but eight thousand dollars can go a long way yeah like in actual recharge in electricity or just maybe a set of tires mm -hmm. <laughs> i mean something cool like that yeah right? it just like goes towards something better yeah like or something, something else. that you can do for like instead of just wasting money to or wasting it, the price won't go down exactly yeah. more more yeah mm -hmm. more money in your pocket yeah because you like, can't who doesn't want that no who right. doesn't want that what? like don't we all don't we all so you can't really you can't really lower prices when it has been made higher right no because it's you said that you yeah. said it yeah, you like, said the bar yeah and so you're like well why would i go down now yeah right unless yeah. It's, unless you have incentives and like you know you're like so okay the, this is, is good the government helps like that yeah. was an incentive yes but we're never gonna go down so no. because we're never gonna go down how how are we gonna how are we gonna get there to that place where mm -hmm. maybe ev is cheaper or maybe there is a cheap uh, uh, yeah a cheaper alternative yeah like because some There's people are not choosing ev right now because it is expensive as a car but then you do save on gas yes Mm -hmm. you do save on gas because gas is more expensive than electricity and this is what we are talking about today people mm -hmm. Ooh. we are talking about our gases prices too high let's fight <laughs> Okay, so we have here Dave Frank who says EVs for cargo only, ladies. That, that's, that's what, uh, yeah. Doing, right? That is what Tesla is doing. For the ladies? <laughs> <laughs> for the ladies? All my single ladies. All my single <laughs> ladies. <laughs> EVs, ladies. Uh, actually, you know what their vans? You told me, like, we, we saw, oh, like, these big, like, vans. Right. That were electric vehicles. But, like, uh, how electric. did you call them yesterday? You said, like, uh, cargo vans. Tra not trailers oh but uh, semi trucks crates semi yeah semi trucks semi. are like the freight six, like 18 yeah. wheelers yeah, or like freight. 16 wheelers yeah freight like they like are cargo vessels mm -hmm. you know they're hit like ice road truckers exactly like the ice road exactly. actually did you know that the road that we're going on tomorrow what is like that's where the ice road truckers is filmed uh, yeah it's one of like a dangerous highway <laughs> Seriously? Yeah, We're going apparently. on a dangerous highway tomorrow? Yeah. For, yeah. No, Are dangerous, you scared? dangerous. No, it's just that the winter, I think. No, I'm not scared. Okay. I would never be scared. I know you're not but the type we, to be we're scared. But we're like, cautious. We're cautious. Uh, but I just found out, out. I was like, okay. I heard this information. I was like, wow, this is great. And that was like, like a TV show? Yeah. And the TV and show was filmed there because it was like crazy scary and there was ice yeah, everywhere? I guess. Because like ice road truckers, like, you know, it's a, uh, they go over like 130 kilometers. Like these big, like 18 wheelers. So, those yeah. are real men, so right? <laughs> yeah. It's a dangerous job being a trucker. 
Yeah, yeah. And Bruce, you need to go in the city sometimes and park. And I, yeah, I how can't do even, they do it? I, I can't even park my my Tesla Model X. I don't understand how you park a freaking van in downtown oh. New York. This is like yes. this is crazy. I have no idea. I have no idea. It's respect. So, yeah, respect. No, Drew, respect, Drew, respect. Respect to the truckers. <laughs> yeah. Okay, it's but look, Highway. Look, look That's at what it's that. Called. Look at that. What? How is it called? Cockahalla Highway. Cockahalla Highway. That's a nice name. That's definitely Coca-Cola. native, right? Yeah. Because I can't pronounce that thing. <laughs> Has to be. Yeah. It's okay. Like respect, but I mean, respect. It's true. Like Coquitlam. Like Co- what? Co- what Co- Co- see, I thought Cam it was Coquitlam. Coquitlam. Okay. Coquitlam. That's what I thought it was <laughs> for the longest when I first moved here. Like Coquitlam. It's okay. Every time I see Howie Street, I got Ho Street. <laughs> it's H O W E in it French. Is, it's like Ho. That is like Ho Street. <laughs> it's so Welcome saying, to Ho Street. <laughs> <laughs> and then what's the other one? There's Ho Street, and then there's Butte. Butte. It's Butte. So but we we say but in French it's like <laughs> yeah but I was like hi. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> it's that thing, God. right? Yeah, no, it's be- but like in California, there's like yeah. buttes, like counties, right? So like my old oh. town was like called Butte County, but it is pron- B-U-T-T-E. T-T-E. So, so I can see where you can get that. <laughs> you you see where I get county. it from, right? Butt County, that's where I came from. <laughs> I came from Butt County. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. No shame. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I love that the freight truck idea is a really good idea. Yes. And so Tesla is working on one. And then there's Amazon because Amazon has like their own planes, trains and automobiles or whatever. Mm-hmm. So they have all of that. So they're working on that too because uh, the thing with like these long distances and I even saw like I think it was a little real and like the the actual Tesla a freight truck was like going way faster than all the other trucks in the hill. It was like, woo, woo, woo. Everybody was like there, you know, because they need to change gears and all that. It's super mm-hmm. long. Can you try to find that actually? That would be cool yeah. to show. Uh, so th- this little, well, not little, but the Tesla EV truck was like, woo, I'm going to get hot, like king of the hill, you know? King I'm going to get up on top of that hill faster than all of you guys with gas. <laughs> yeah, so. But it is it is a lot less um, noisy. Mm-hmm. That too, you know, you have like these big like freight trucks, and there's like the engine brakes, and there's just like when they go up a hill without even using the brakes, it's just like <laughs> it does a lot, a lot, a lot of noise. Yeah, there's a lot of Everywhere. power to go into that too. Exactly. Yeah. So by by not having that, yeah, that's the EV truck. Yeah, perfect. Or EV. Um, um I, EV freight. Yeah. Or like yeah, maybe EV freight. It has a name. Yeah. It has a really weird name. We're gonna find it Semi- if you know. This Tesla semi, maybe Tesla electric semi. semis are coming. That's cool. Okay, yeah. okay. Oz, can I get and screen, please? Screen, please. Screen, please. We're doing when this. Do you so get cool. a chance. It's so cool. So cool. No, thank you. Okay, we got the screen. Merci. So, Tesla, show, show us this. So, this is the Tesla semi right there. Yes. Can you people see it? Look at mm-hmm. Pepsi's, Pepsi's part of it. Maybe, maybe they did a deal. Yeah, that's cool. The first to have one. Nice, oh, yeah. the first. Yeah, we okay, can check okay. that out. So Frito we, Lay we can see. I, I found a little video, so maybe try to find a little video. So it does look like a semi. It does look like a Tesla. You know, it's like all smooshed like a frog. Mm-hmm. Uh, his face is kind of like smooshed. And again, so EV against. Maybe if we do like a Tesla EV, a semi versus gas. <laughs> maybe we're gonna find it. Yes. <laughs> Thank Fight. You. Oh, they, yeah, does fight. Tesla oh, okay. destroys? Uh, no, that's <laughs> we don't destroys an electric. But maybe, maybe I don't know. You see that one? Yeah, let's just click on one like and the, let's see the, what the, it does. Destroys. If, oh, we got ads. <laughs> we got ads too. We didn't pay we got for premiere, too. but we don't have enough money. N- not yet. We don't have enough money yet. So thank you for supporting us on Patreon, everybody who's who doing is. that. The link is in the live chat right here, right yeah. now. Just need to scroll up a little bit, and you're gonna find it. No yeah, problem. I can put it again, no problem. Just for the people. So we got also carbon tax made it worse for gas cars drivers for sure. So yeah, there is this new carbon tax that has been rolling out through Canada. Mm-hmm. Um, some some people say it's not true. It has no correlation, and other people have said that it is actually like changing the prices of the gas and everything related to it. Mm-hmm. So well, that's what we'll see very very soon. Okay, so that's like that's the Tesla truck. You can see it. Okay, if you're not there visually so that yeah. right now the van is just kind of and going there, into it and there's a guy okay so there's a, a guy shirt okay so 
Sorry, don't guy. Who, don't know who no. he is. That's a Freightliner. Oh, that's a Freightliner. So that's a different. That's okay. different than Tesla. Yeah. Well, the thing is, the, the one that I saw was this, this, this actual semi was really going faster than all the other ones. And it makes sense because of torque, you know? It, it makes a lot of sense because there's like no gears on an actual, there, there's no box mm. on an actual electric vehicle. It's not a thing. Yeah. So don't worry about Tesla. We'll get back to it later. Come on, people, stay focused on the subject. Are gas prices too high? Yes. Now, yes, the carbon tax can be a, a thing to like count into carbon tax, like into the price that of the gas in general. But then Dave Frank is saying like tequila. I'm not sure it changes the prices of your tequila. Like, okay, yes, for sure. Because of like the plane, trains and automobile <laughs> your tequila takes to get to wherever you're living. Yep. But but is it really like, is that is that your biggest concern, Dave? The no. price of tequila? Yeah, <laughs> I mean... <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. If EVs yeah, reduces might, the price of my tequila, it might make you like care less about the price. Um, <laughs> but like after a few drinks, like, but that's kind of it. Um. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, you'll definitely yeah. forget yeah, about like, that. you know what? If you, you know, what, just, just go. <laughs> fuck it. Go. Yeah, Soon yeah. F it. F no it problem. No problem. Okay, okay, okay. So now the thing is, the thing is. We are going on this amazing road trip, yeah. and that is tomorrow, at the time of recording this podcast. If you are here right now, thank you for tuning in. I'm mm -hmm. Piper. This and I'm is Tessa. And we're here on While You Wait. This is the podcast that you listen to while you wait for your EV car or electric bicycle uh -huh, yeah. or electric scooter to charge. <laughs> yeah, electric scooter, anything that yeah. it gets you places fast. Like you just charge up, go. I got to work today. Yeah. With, with the, the electric with, scooter? With the electric scooter. It was just made the morning so much better. <laughs> it's it was so much fun. Right? It was faster. Yeah. It was just like, you know, everyone's walking around. Everyone's in their car. I'm like, no, zip, zap, no, done. No. no parking. Bring it up. No parking. No parking. No parking. You don't it need to great. park. It's yeah. like plug and play. <laughs> Super easy. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Okay, so Carl is saying that groceries went up a few days ago. Yeah, okay, so yeah. Gr grocery grocery keep on going up and that is that is true. We're seeing this everywhere. I mean, when I moved here to Vancouver, the prices of steak was like, you know, at Costco like maybe 40 bucks, now it's like 80 bucks. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, you have three steaks, but like that doubled in within like it's 5 not, years. Yeah, it's it's a it's a it's a jump. It's, it's a, a big, big jump. jump. Yeah, cuz I came back from Europe and I was so surprised. Well, about food is cheaper in Europe too. It's huh? way cheaper because it's, it's like more condensed too. Yeah, and when stuff has to go like less less miles, I guess. Yes, because everything's kind of like local and everything, yeah. so it's not mass produced. But it's just, it was when I was in Canada last to yeah. when I came back, so yeah. like a year and a half after, I was like, what? I go into a grocery store, I could not believe my eyes. Like usually, like a chicken was what, like maybe what five euros? Five euros, yeah, four for euros for a whole a whole chicken, a whole, right? Not a whole chicken, yeah, it'd be like six euros maybe, like for a whole chicken, not that's, just chicken breast. Like so chi that's like not even, yeah, that that's just cheaper. Yeah. And now it's like twenty bucks for a whole chicken Canadian. Yeah, even mm -hmm. like, even that. Mm -hmm. Like so, it was just a it was a it was a surprise. Come back Sad to surprise. welcome to Canada. Yeah, I was like, <gasps> thanks Canada, missed you. <laughs> I do, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, we are talking about our gas prices too high. Okay, so some people are saying that actually, yes, they, they are seeing in their reality, in their life right now, how gas prices being higher affects their like their immediate life. Mm -hmm. You know, not just by going at the, the pump and filling up their cars, but food prices. I mean, uh, also, okay, the price of some staples, like some, it doesn't have to be necessarily food, but just everything else. Mm -hmm. has gone into price like if you if you pay for shipping and delivery that's going to be higher if you pay for a guy with again a lawnmower <laughs> it's going to be more expensive your plumber needs to pay for gas to come to where you are yes so it, it it's really, all intertwined exactly mm -hmm. everything goes higher now of course there's other effects like wars and things like that the covid did not help with the the price of everything no. but now that we know how it affects you let's move on uh -huh. to actually like well what are you going to do about it like, what are you going to do about this gas prices and how it affects you? Some people have decided to use less their car to go more into public transport. Um, other people are choosing to use their car uh, in ride shares or mm -hmm. things like that. So that you can, there's apps for that and yeah. everything like that. So they, that can help like kind of split the amount of gas or like, the, oh, I mean, the, your vehicle in general. So that's also well repairs and things Repair, like yes, that. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
So how do you do? How do you do that? How do you do to make it so like the gas prices that are getting higher and higher and that will not really like go back down? I mean, even Poilievre, like one of the guys who wants to get elected. Yeah. Like yeah. he's like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The gas prices, the carbon tax implemented by Justin Trudeau is too high. And when I come into like prime ministry, mm -hmm. well, I'll, I'll get it lower. But never can he make it the way it was before like i mean it has already been higher is it really gonna go lower maybe it's gonna stop like increasing a little bit but you can't really bring back the prices we had in the 1970s it's not possible right no that, that that'll this, never exist again that, there's no That's, way it's done it's like done. unfortunately the glory days are done you could buy a house for ten thousand dollars if you made it yourself like you know oh, yeah no you ten thousand dollars that's exactly this right is, that's how what that's what our ancestors not ancestors yeah but like our grandparents <laughs> that's what our grandparents did that's what i mean i don't know how young you are ancestors <laughs> <laughs> that's what our grandparents and parents did and they're like why can't you figure it out like, well because it's like, like half a million it. dollars for a freaking studio apartment right now <laughs> studio apartments half a million dollars yeah i don't know yeah be mad be I'm mad, mad. I'm mad. <laughs> i can get heated about this but we're gonna stay on topic well we're gonna stay on <laughs> on the topic of evs but yeah. it, it all correlates people do not worry it all correlates here on our podcast that we do live it's always recorded live first okay so when you hit that subscribe button and when you see oh my god it's live come and join us go in the live chat section because we want to interact with you and we want to discuss with you about all these amazing subjects related to ev technologies i mean tech the future uh, climate change it's, it's a bit of a melting pot but it all goes under the umbrella of mm -hmm. tesla supercharger adventures yeah. yeah and this podcast is called while we wait with myself piper and while you wait Two. Oh yeah, while well, you wait. Sorry, I, we just changed the name. Yeah, so I'm did. still a bit messed well, you, up. I just keep wanting to say you. Yeah, we're talking say to you, you. Say you. Say you. Yeah, we're talking you, to you. 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 <laughs> diesel might still have an advantage. Okay, so how is diesel really made? Like, okay, I've always been wondering this. Like, so you have gasoline, gasoline, then you have diesel. Mm -hmm. So diesel is like same, same, but different than gasoline. It's always less it's refined. It's always cheaper. Always cheaper. Yeah. Now it's higher. Oh, so diesel is higher right now. Okay, so yeah. diesel is higher. But like Sebastian is saying, diesel might still have an advantage. Is that because it was cheaper before? Or why does diesel have an advantage over gasoline mm. and over EVs in general? Over EVs mostly. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, less refined, so cheaper before, not cheap now. Um, I think there is something about diesel. You, you, you have a... You have a bigger range, right? Don't you have like a bigger range when you have a diesel car? Yeah, you have you have longer. Like you don't have to think, fill up as much. I you have, think. You I do. think that's I've heard that. Yeah, that's right. Is it a myth? Tell us in the live comment section right now. Tell us. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah, it, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. More power. No, it's not. No. Yeah, it's just range. It's just range and like how often do you have to fill up? With yeah, diesel? how often do you have to fill up? I think that's advantage. the most important no, no. thing. An advantage yeah. in pulling like, power. Mm -hmm. I don't understand. And pulling power, so maybe like tor like 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 four wheel drive. Diesel more power. Yeah, like that's for tractors yeah, and tractors. Like so it's like a tractor. So like let's say like a Dodge Ram. Yeah. Right, like that. Like have more or like, power. Or like, so like going know, up on the, in the Volkswagen yeah. GT. Yeah, and Sebastian's. I, yeah, and all these things. Yeah, that's who it, this will give you more range. Cool. So diesel gives you more range. Yeah. So which would make it a bit more competitive mm -hmm. in that sense? So the money you pay for diesel versus yeah. the money you pay for electricity and the range it gives you, you kind of would need to have a little proportion ratio there. Mm -hmm. Something like that. Yeah. Okay. In gas. Oh, interesting. That Okay, that yeah. makes sense. So the way the Tesla app is, is that it calculates your saving in gasoline, not in diesel. So if the Tesla app were to like give you a comparison of uh, your electricity versus the diesel, well, it, it would be different. So maybe my $5 to $60 might be more like $5 to maybe, I don't know, 40, $35, like almost half, 40 yeah. A, li a little bit more than half so but again you need to understand that here in canada and the new united states of america diesel is not the most sold car like right. it, it is it is not it is not it's uh, in europe diesel is a bit more spread mm -hmm. but here it's really gasoline, gasoline yeah, it's mostly gas here they mostly gas and they call it petrol 
in oh. Europe, right? They don't call it gasoline, it's petrol. Okay, yeah. It's the same, same, but different. <laughs> same, same, but different <laughs> word, yeah. But they, yeah, they're mo- like a lot of diesel um, cars too over there. Oh, like there, lots of tractors, more. like just there's lots and of... And like the cars are, it's just different. It's, it's just a different di- culture. It's a different car culture too. Yeah. Uh, they, so everything is different over there. Dave yeah. Frank, thank you very much for tuning in. And hello, Javier. The decent... The diesel engine are beefier and more torque than horsepower. Okay, so that's why most most trucks are mm-hmm. diesel because you want the, the the torque. You don't want to go fast, fast. You want to like have your horse, your car, your RV, your wife that ditched you. You know all these things that you hear in the country stop. All of that there, super cool. Yeah, <laughs> amazing. Okay, well that means that. That would be completely different to go in a diesel versus gasoline. So are gases prices too high? Then let's stay on the gas subject. And diesel is kind of a gas, so of course, just like plastic is getting get higher if the petroleum barrel gets higher. So mm-hmm. that makes a lot of sense. Now, what we got here? We got EV. So does the gas of the price of gas actually affect your decision to purchase something IV. And don't worry, we're not necessarily going to go to cars right away because I know some of you already have a vehicle. But but quite frankly, like if you have a, a lawn to mow, would you now choose an electric mower? Because th- like this was a thing back then, but now they have cordless. They have like, you know, wireless cordless. It's the same thing, but yeah. same, same, but different. Um, and so you can actually like recharge all these things and the battery is way better than it was like in the 1980s. Mm-hmm. <laughs> now you can actually like mow the lawn with this and it has torque and it has like it yeah. has power. Before like in the beginning these electric ones like no, there's not yeah. and then they get a rock uh, they die. Yeah. <laughs> and it's just like oh it, it was not as powerful. But nowadays, I mean, are you actually thinking when you're purchasing anything that you could also purchase electric, not a toothbrush? You don't put gas in a toothbrush. Mm-hmm. Yeah, electric toothbrushes Ooh. are a thing, but you don't put gas in them. Yeah, I wouldn't. <laughs> I wouldn't. I wouldn't do that, right? No. Wouldn't do that. Electric toothbrush, but it's when you bring them out on a road trip, like on a road trip, you're yeah. like, hey, you just have to plug them in. Yeah, That's we no can problem. plug them in our Tesla Model X. Yeah, uh-huh, Because right. this is like EV. It's mm-hmm. all EV. Now... Does that or will it influence your choices in the future? Because EV, electricity, is still cheaper than gasoline. Yep. So are you counting this like as as, a, as an influential matter when you're making a purchasing decision? Tell us right now. This is a... Fight. Are gas prices too high? Come in and fight. Invite your friends, your family. Post it on your social media. There is a little share button right down there underneath this video if you are tuning in, listening, or watching. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you can just click it, and then bam, it opens to a wider array. You can post it on Facebook, on X, on Reddit, and many other platforms in just one click. So thank you very much for being here. And let's actually start a little bit of a debate. Yeah, let's, let's get into this. Let's get into this. Are gas prices too high and how is gas prices affecting your daily decision making accordingly to buying things that are EV instead of not EV? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like where we're going with this. That yeah. makes sense, right? Yeah. Perfect. I'll yeah. clarify it a little bit later. <laughs> that was great. Okay, great. Now, okay, Carl says there are neighborhoods here that forbid the use of gasoline-powered lawnmowers oh. and other landscaping. I do not cut my own grass either. Mm, interesting. Well, thank you very much, Carl, for stating that. That makes sense. Why does it make sense? Yeah, why? Because uh, they make a lot less noise. So, you know, it's Sunday. Oh, you're yeah. having a nice barbecue with your friends and family. Yes. And then the neighbor, for some weird reasons, decides that he's going to do his whole lawn right yes. when you start your barbecue. Yeah. Same it, time. Or and you're trying has, to sleep. Yeah, like you're sleeping on a Sunday morning and someone has the audacity to go out there <laughs> right next to your window <laughs> and it's like just like <laughs> you're just like really? It's eight, yeah. like seven AM. Like, which is fine, but you just uh, we know you're awake at seven, but I like, know. normal people. Well, are normal not. people, yeah. Normal I, people when are I was not. younger, <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. Ooh, oh, that's good. Okay. 
That is true. So yeah. you get the smell. Uh, unfortunately enough, fresh cut grass smells amazing, it does, right? When you mix it. Yeah, but, but when you favorites. mix it with the two time, is it? It's called two time, uh, uh, deux temps. In French, it's called le deux temps. So these like uh, gasoline motors are not just gasoline. You need to mix like two things in there. So uh, that's for lawnmowers, tractors, any like and weed eaters. So you need to put all that in there, and it sounds so bad. It just it ruins your party. It ruins your barbecue. It just ruins your vibe. It ruins your Sunday. Yeah, it ruins it's your Sunday. Su- it's always on a Sunday. It's always on a Sunday. Because people work on weekdays. Yeah. So I like that you're not allowed to use actually gas yes, power really cool. because that makes it so that it's a lot more silent and also you don't have like the smell mm-hmm. and not just the smell but the actual pollution from oh it's called two stroke two uh, stroke thank you. Javier. <laughs> so we call it two time deux temps in french <laughs> and in english it's called two stroke engine two stroke two engine. stroke engine and that's it boom uh, two stroke <laughs> yeah Two stroke. <gasps> What's up with that? Two stroke on there. Two stroke people, two stroke engine. So that 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 actually smells like it smells. It smells. I know some people like to get down and dirty, but yeah. if you're trying to actually like eat your ice cream cone, yeah. it is kind of weird. With the barbecue, it just remi- yeah. could be okay. It reminds me of like summer in the States and it just smells like gasoline in the air mm-hmm. and like, you know, like a hot dog stand and also like Losing the baseball brain game. Cells. Yeah, it just like has that hot, <laughs> it's just hot outside and you're just, sm- it's like, yeah, the fresh cut grass <laughs> smell. So you could have the fresh cut grass yeah. smell, the sausage smell without the gas Yeah, smell. and then you get an ice cream from like the... The, 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 the ice cream man. man. Yeah, and you're just like, yeah. Ex- <laughs> yes. I'm doing the sound of like, you That's know, exactly, the music yeah, to attract just, the kids. Yeah. Would, yeah, you got it right. That was <laughs> a, I can't, I can't impersonate it. It's okay. But, don't worry. Yeah, like one of those things. It's like you walk down, but I just that's always in my head. It's just smell of like gasoline in the air. Yeah. Like on a hot summer's day, because it just like if someone's mowing their lawn, you just smell it for days. Uh-huh. And so that's what I just always thought was normal. And then I'm like, wait, it could it could <laughs> be not normal. I had like I smelled like fresh grass like for the first time without all these other <laughs> things. I'm like, wow, this is this, this really is fresh. Nice. <laughs> this is fresh. <laughs> so it's possible, people. It's possible to have a neighborhood where there is less sound and like unpleasant noises. Yeah. In the weekends when you are not working, when most people are not working, and to enjoy this this time because uh, sound pollution is a thing. Yeah. Sound pollution is a thing. Mm-hmm. Some people they live next to airports. Some other people they live next to, yeah, trains. Trains and, like loud trains. Yeah. Like, every day. And even like all these like semis when you're in the city, all these semis it makes a lot of noise, and so to have that like not in our cities not in our neighborhoods i mean that would create a lot less stress on our ears just for like the sake of it mm-hmm. yeah even mm-hmm. compressor trucks like th- the ones that are refrigerated yeah. if it was all electric of course like even electric fridge has a compressor in it that needs to do it but you have you don't have all of that other like mechanical stuff to power it you don't have no. the gener- the gas generator Yeah, so which is your motor. So the gas generator would be like a lot more noise than an actual electric generator. Yeah, exactly. This and is Because like right now you can hear You cars. can hear the cars. Yeah, I can hear cars, but like that's just normal for us, right? But imagine just like you can actually hear birds or yeah. I don't know, a crazy person down there screaming. Like well, I don't know, like in a city. You can hear them. In a city. You're in Vancouver. Like <laughs> you live in Gastown. <laughs> you live in Gastown here. Yes. You, you'll definitely hear them. Yeah, you'll hear them. But, but this is a good thing. Maybe yeah. people are going to be more conscious and are going to like, be like, stop yelling. Yeah. <laughs> stop. <laughs> Because now we can't hear them. There's too much noise. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's yeah. true. Maybe the semis wake up the bombs and then the bugs. They're scream, mad. They're, they're, they and roll, then they, they wake us up. up. Yeah, they woke up on the wrong side of the bed <laughs> or the street. On the cardboard bed. The cardboard. <laughs> yeah, like oh. How awful, like, yeah. How awful is this? How awful is it? It's only jo- only messing. <gasps> Thank you so much, people, for tuning yeah, in. I'm Piper. You. I'm Tessa. And we are here on <laughs> while you wait. Mm-hmm. For your EV to charge, make sure that you tune into our podcast. There's a whole playlist on our channel, which is called Tesla Supercharger Adventures on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Go listen to it. Go play it. Go click it. Share it with go a friend. Go hang out with it. Yeah. Yeah. You can make it your girlfriend. It's all cool. <laughs> uh-huh. No judgment here. 
because people do wait for things to happen in their life. And now with EVs, well, you need to wait at the charging station. So all you need to do while you wait is click on the podcast, listen to it. There's also the video versions of us, which are available in short format. Mm -hmm. If everyone scroll through in long format, those are like our road trips, more like bigger reviews. Yep. These give us the watch hour that we need to actually monetize this channel. So please go to the video section of the YouTube channel and listen or watch our three videos because that's where we're at right now. But there's one mm -hmm. video that's actually a meditation extra. I'm yeah. just going to be another one on Monday, right? Yes, tomorrow. Tomorrow. tomorrow meditation mondays and then we're heading out tomorrow we're gonna this the next few days are gonna be packed with content too so oh, to yeah. stay tuned like, uh -huh. I, we're revved up for that yeah we we're are revved like uh -huh. we're gonna we're for this afternoon we're packing yes. tomorrow morning we wake up and we leave so everything you're gonna see is gonna happen uh, via all of our social media and mm -hmm. our Patreon and YouTube as well so make yeah. sure that you, your notifications are on we will harass you tomorrow yeah. <gasps> how nice is this we have, we have a huge road trip so we're gonna harass you <laughs> yeah. we have and the weird thing's gonna be on Patreon yeah so and that's true all of the weirdest stuff is only going to be available for our awesome patreons <laughs> on patreon.com slash tesla supercharger adventure so thank you to all of our patreons but if you really want the behind the scene and see the real tesla and i you need to go to patreon that's how it's gonna work mm -hmm. yes. let's get to that live comment section and see who is saying what mm -hmm. okay so we have here Okay, let's go shorter, shorter, shorter. But a Ferrari sounds good. That's from Douglas Downless. Well, okay, okay, okay. We all know that people like the sound of the Ferrari, the KTM, mm -hmm. whatever you're driving, and that is fine. But if we take away, like, at least the semis and we put them EV, this is already going to be a lot quieter because those are the ones that make the more noise because yeah. they're bigger. It's yeah. pretty simple, right? This is... Like, as simple as that. And then after that, of course, Ferrari's Ferrari. But, I mean, how many Ferraris are there really compared to all the other normal cars? <laughs> There's, like, maybe, like, what, two Ferraris? <laughs> and the rest yeah. are all, like, regular cars. Not everybody has, like, the half a million dollars it takes to purchase a Ferrari. Okay, people? Mm -hmm. Now, we have Carl who says, I miss having a train close by. I miss the sound, especially late at night. Oh, the trains on the track, you know? Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, once you get used to it, it's kind of nostalgic. You get, yeah. it's, like, it's, like, soothing. Well, everything can be soothing and nostalgic. Yeah. Again, we, we might just like the smell of gas and like the fact that our yeah, neighbors... Like yeah, yeah, we just like this. Like You just get used to it. I was like, be I kind of miss those smells, but I was like, you know... Because we were raised on them, but yeah. I mean, it's not that good for your brain cells. Probably so <laughs> it would be better to not have that. Just like, like you know, better. sniffing the Sharpie in front of me. Yeah, smells nice. I guess I just lost half my brain right now. <laughs> so let's get back to the thing. <laughs> Okay, okay, we have Javier says, there is rotary engines, diesel engines, gas engines, hydrogen engines, hybrids, electrics, and prototype jet engines. Okay, Ooh. so yeah, there are a lot of engines out there, right? That's a lot of engines. Mm -hmm. We are going to be concentrating more on, of course, IVs and hybrids, because I mean, this, this is the name of our channel, Tesla Supercharger Adventures, where we have a Tesla Model X. Uh -huh. And we go on road trips, we do reviews of the Tesla Superchargers, we uh, interact with the EV community. Uh, I mean, it can be people who don't have Teslas either, it doesn't matter. There's one guy in our live comment section uh, this morning that actually has a Mac E. So mm -hmm. that's the Ford Mustang kind of SUV. Uh, so th th this is okay. Like, I mean, we are open to all EVs and any EVs. You have an electric scooter? Tell us about it. Doesn't really matter. Uh -huh. The whole point of this is to open the conversation about electric vehicles, however they are and wherever they are. Mm -hmm. And what's like happening in the world, like how it's going to be an interesting few years to come before yeah. 2035. Yeah. So it's just we're going to be here for that progress and we're going to get the ground you know the information out there we want everyone to share this like i guess knowledge like a wealth yeah. of knowledge like of what how is it better is it worse and but we want you to know like talk to us like we want to know we're evolving well because we're making the future right now yeah like all right the now. decisions we take all the Everything. all the things we put on the channel all this education yeah. all of the decisions all mm -hmm. of that is going to become the future later yeah so we are building the future right now mm -hmm. while you wait <laughs> We are building the future. Uh -huh. Yeah, we are. Yeah. One EV at a time. <laughs> One EV at a time. 
podcast will be shorter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. When batteries will charge faster, this podcast will be shorter. We'll give you... Oh, we have a new Patreon! Oh, Tessa! Thank you so much to Dave Frank for being a Patreon. There's over like 35 uh, posts on there already that you can go and spy on Tessa and I and everything weird we do behind the scenes. <laughs> it's a pretty cool game. It is. It is. Yeah. It's just from like, you know, it's not it's us in our element. Yeah, our I know. Daily life. Life. Element. In our element. <laughs> Natural <laughs> habitat. Just going about our day. But Tessa <laughs> and Piper. Behind the scenes. BTS. Yeah. Yeah. yeah There's a lot of stuff from there. There's a lot of stuff. So go check it out. It's quite interesting. Plus, we're allowed to upload videos. Mm -hmm. So sometimes we mess up. <laughs> Yeah. And we put the videos there. Yeah. <laughs> Some other times we don't mess up at all, but we Sometimes, just like most of the time we don't. But yeah. then there's a we most, most of the, of the time, time. But then there's those ones. And those are good. the happy accidents. Those they go on Patreon. <laughs> the photos uh, that were like, oh, we didn't know we were taking a picture right now. <laughs> those ones go there too. I mean, all of the tests and all of the yeah. the research and the DIY yeah. that we're doing for the channel, yeah, just, for the road trips, just mix trying it all, seeing what what works for us. And it's just we're 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 not no we don't delete anything. No, we don't. We, we just don't. post it all on Patreon. Yeah, we don't have like there's no deletes. No, no, there's you're not allowed Patreon. to delete. <laughs> you're not. Allowed. You do not delete. We purchase iCloud six terabyte people. That's like <laughs> that gives you a good idea, right? Yeah. <laughs> we can do it. We can, we can do it. Yeah. If you don't just can, we can too. Yes. Michael Luders is here. Hey, Michael. Thank you for tuning in and charging up with us on while you wait uh -huh, for your EV to charge. Carl says, Piper, 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 Piper. Tell everybody to watch that instead of the P word. <laughs> I'm actually doing that a lot, but you need to tell like the ones you know. <laughs> To good industry. There are refrigerators that work propane fuel. Mm, that makes a lot of sense. Mm. So I feel like, yeah, there is there is things that are still maybe just like, you know, gas powered. But we want to go away from that as much as possible. And for many different reasons. We don't just want to go away from gas powered because of the price of gas. We want to go away from gas powered because of CO2 emissions. Yep. And because of climate change. Yes. That's another like really great weight in the balance of why you would go EV. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, because it just makes sense yeah. to eliminate CO2 emissions. It does. Like right now, we need as to. an individual, it, it mm -hmm. does. And it cleans a lot more the air of our cities and the our smog. countryside. The smog. The yeah. smog's bad. Even. Like how much, how much is that like oh, the, yeah. the air right now? Three? Like in Vancouver? How, how bad is the air? Mine's three. You're, th you're at three? Yeah, it's So moderate. you see, we're in Vancouver. It's a nice day. It's 15 degrees Celsius. And the air pollution is at three. And Vancouver is a pretty small city. There's like, I think, 750,000 people, like in greater Vancouver area. So it's not mm -hmm. like a really dense city. It's not huge. I think like Portland is or Seattle is kind of the same same. Is so it? It's not yeah. New York. No. Just but like it's like a, a smaller it's, city. They're, it's lower it's so than big. a million people. Yes. It's lower than a million people. And you're still having these... This tree, which is not very good. No. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. That is true. That is true. Yeah. So there's the HEPA filter in uh, Tesla models, some of the Tesla models, but it's called like the biohazard mode. That yeah, biohazard yesterday. mode. That is. Mm -hmm. That was pretty edgy. Making it so that, well, with climate changes and like the air pollution that we yeah. are, well, we all breathing right now. Yeah. Well, you can actually clean, br like breathe clean air in your Tesla. Another pandemic. Another like, pandemic. Things like that. Like you have mm -hmm. your biohazards. Things go wrong in the world. Just apocalypse. Your car. You're, you're good. <laughs> You're, it's an apocalypse. You're, you yeah. got the Tesla or an, another EV. Maybe I don't know if they have those features. Mm -hmm. No, I don't know. I don't if they that are. sounds like an Elon Musk um, yeah. like like trait. But like if nice ever, if ever you know of other EVs that have special ventilation systems, please do drop a Let comment in the live chat section, and we'll talk about it right here, right now. Now, this is all things that kind of go with the EV philosophy. I feel like all of this, like climate change, the fact that Elon Musk has put like an E. Uh, sorry, it's a nice touch. E P A. Yeah. In Hepa. the ventilation system, mm -hmm. so it's, it's it's a philosophy, you know. It's not just an electric car. You're not just purchasing an electric car. When you purchase an an electric vehicle, usually you're purchasing this whole philosophy, this whole new lifestyle of going charging it. Yeah. Um, actually, like you're being more conscious of yeah, the gas, the electricity. You're doing a different routine than what you're normally 
yeah. normally doing, but you adopt it and you're like, okay, early adopters. Yeah, right? early adopters. Yeah. While you wait to charge or listen to us, you can inform yourself, you can learn something new, you can watch our videos, you can watch mm-hmm. our podcast. People actually like get out of their cars, talk to each other. Some don't, but we're going to make it do. Yeah, we're going <laughs> to make the them do it. Say yeah. our sign. <laughs> If you're if Free you're candy. listening right now and you're not watching, we actually have a big sandwich sign that we yeah. have just like made. Uh huh. Well, we didn't make it. Atomic Signs made we it. Thank make. you very much, Atomic yeah, Signs. Atomic Signs. <laughs> we we paid for it. We paid for it. It's not sponsorship or anything like yeah. that. But yeah, we're gonna put this big sandwich sign like right in front of our Tesla while we charge mm-hmm. because while you wait. <gasps> we're gonna be actually trying to entertain you yeah with our podcast with our youtube videos but yeah. also in the live format yes. tessa and i in real life yo real life. irl <laughs> irl irl in real life now that that is a great incentive for you to get an ev and go charge when we're charging because we're gonna be in quam loops come loops Cam loops fruit loops we're gonna be in fruit, fruit loops, loops. We're tomorrow, gonna be fruit loops. Like, tomorrow we're gonna fruit loops and we're gonna go charge there so all the people that are gonna be there tomorrow if you're there you will see us like because we're gonna be yeah. there yeah this is no, super easy we don't right? even know what time exactly we're just gonna no work. so if you want to <laughs> camp there you know we're just like taylor swift do camp there and yeah. then come and see us <laughs> their sign <laughs> We got a sign, but you that? don't even need to pay to see us. It's free. We can do autographs. We can take selfies. You can even be on the channel because we, yeah. we do like videos interviews. and behind the scenes and interviews. Yeah, road yeah maybe yeah. road test the Model X. You can actually like drive drive my car for twenty. Yeah. Oh, we, yeah, we're gonna charge for that. That's a good idea. Yeah, we we'll charge we do, twenty we bucks. Some, yeah, twenty. Yeah, twenty sounds. Twenty, bucks. 20 bucks. sounds about 20 right. Bucks. 20 bucks, you go around the parking lot. Yeah. It is supporting us in making the world a cleaner place to live in. Mm-hmm. And we give you a receipt. Yeah, yeah, yeah this is all fully deductible. It's yeah, cool. it's deductible. <laughs> nice, Tessa. <gasps> yeah, Deducted. what's up? This is our gas price is too high. And we're getting right into the subject by talking about EVs and everything that EVs are bringing to the world while gas prices are going up. It is time to... Fight. Yeah. So come on in, bring your friends, your your haters of EVs, your lovers mm. of EVs, everybody lovers, in fighters. there. Yeah. Anyone. Anyone. This is a Everyone. conversation. Yeah. It's a discussion. We need to talk about these things yes. to change the world. One human at the time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Or like one gas car at the time. <laughs> yeah. Well, eventually, yeah, it's gonna like you don't want se- like seven an adventure. years. So, yeah. What an adventure. We're in. Oh, we're in. <laughs> well, Seventy years from now, the the gas car is going to be obsolete. Like, it's going to be really it rare. It has to. It's going to be, like... So, also... Yes. We, from our previous, we left our Model X Matchbox in... In the box. In the box. And we are going to bring this along with us tomorrow. Yes, so. we will. We're going to put it voted to next to it the, the mirror, box. right? That's why it says lead box, mirror. Yeah. Because people voted. Yeah, because we're going to, like, hang it or something, right? Yeah, just like that. Oh, so, like, it's so I don't, cute. I haven't seen the... Perfect. Leave it there. But yeah. can, can you see your iPad? Yeah, oh, you're gonna be okay? Okay, yeah. cool. Perfect. So, okay, she can see while she drives the iPad. <sighs> yeah, if you don't see, like, put it on mine. <laughs> all right, well, people. Good. So, we have the, yeah, we have this Matchbox car, which is like a, a car, you know, a Tesla Model X, mm-hmm, an exact replica, but it's 90 uh, slash 100. So, it's like a 10%. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's like, you know, a proportion, people, proportion. You know, Propor- you guys, yeah, what you is know, it? Yeah, what was it? What was the 90, 90, 100. Yeah, so we're going to see the we're Yeah, gonna we're going to see the difference because we're yeah. going to put it at the, the Tesla while we do road trips. It's going to be great. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Well, Garcia, thank you for being there and thank you for being a Patreon. <laughs> thank you so much. Uh-huh. Um, so we got Will, who's a Patreon. We got Dave Frank, who's a Patreon. We got Carl, who's a Patreon. We got Cesar, who's a Patreon as well. So we got a lot of people in the comment section who are actually Patreons. Mm-hmm. Patreon.com slash Tesla Supercharger Adventures. Uh-huh. To see all of the behind the scenes, the exclusive unedited footage. That's all on there. You will not see it on here on YouTube or on our Instagram. Facebook or on our Insta. No, 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 no. This is just for the people that support us. Thank you to all the amazing people that are making a difference. Yeah. yeah, you're really helping. Even just your support, just being here right now, is awesome. Yeah. So thank you. We Talking thank you to us. We thank you. Yeah. We have Javier Roussel. I still prefer hybrid cars, a regular engine and a battery operated engine. Okay, so Javier, you, you prefer like hybrids? 
Okay, but, but why? Why do you prefer hybrid? Is it because of range anxiety? Is that why you prefer hybrid? Then first hybrids were submarines. Oh, interesting. I didn't know that. First hybrids were submarines. By the time we sail the sea in the yellow submarine. And then the electric cars mm -hmm. were invented in the 1900s. Yes, they were actually. Well, I don't know all of about that. But electric cars were invented kind of the same time as, as uh, gasoline cars, even a little bit before but the problem was the range again because like gas it is true we had a few comments about this on our channel mm -hmm. tesla supercharger adventures mm -hmm. go subscribe right now uh this is like what is like our podcast while you wait is underneath this channel on youtube so the thing is well gas for the same amount of gas you will have a lot more everything like power let's call it power so range uh power than uh, you would for the same amount of battery. Mm -hmm. So the battery is like, we call it density, but it's heavier, and then it gives you less power than gasoline would give you. So it was just a better way to go about it, to go mm -hmm. with gasoline cars. But again, in the beginning, you needed to crank them, and then they decided to put the actual battery so that well, you would open the car, let's call it like that, with a battery. So it would be easier for women, actually. Oh. And now well, we, we kept that little battery thing there, but that doesn't mean like a gas-powered gas car is uh, battery-powered. It's just like to open it. <laughs> and there's a battery there. So th that makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. Piper needs an electric Porsche. Well, actually, that'd actually, cool. that, that'd be cool. I mean, I'm game to test every EV out there, right, Tessa? Yeah. You, mm -hmm. you can write out anything. Same price as the Model X. Yeah, the Porsche, same price as the Model X. Cool. I think like close to the Model X right now, fully geared up in... Uh, okay, so here at the time of this recording in Canadian dollars is about $176,000. Uh, if you take like everything. And that's what our taxes, of course, it's just like the price that you have. And then to kind of reserve it, I think you need to put $1,500 on the Tesla website. But Tesla is like that. If you want to yeah. get something, you just kind of reser reserve it. So it's a very small cash payment. Mm -hmm. And then, well, they call you when it's ready, and then you need to pay the rest. So that is one thing. Yeah, the charging oh. station. That is true. So, so yeah. the the charging stations, like all of the other charging Those. stations that are not Tesla superchargers, uh, I've heard bad stories about them. I had a Chevy Volt before, so I've used a few of them. So in Quebec, we had Flow, and we had like a EV route or something like that. And so it's a different app for all of these charging stations. It's a different way of doing it. Plus there's something that is called the handshake. Um, so when like you this? actually, yeah, the handshake, yeah. like this, yeah. Oh. Thank you, Tessa. So <laughs> we just shook hands, Tessa and I. Uh, she has warm hands, like crazy warm hands. Like my hands are cold, your hands are so warm. It's like always, a little heater. Always. Mm -hmm. Now the thing is, so this handshake process happens when you plug in <gasps> your car, a bit like you would plug in your phone to a computer. Then it, like if you're with Apple, it says, do you trust this computer or this device? Because you can kind of share, share information. So the same thing happens with an electric vehicle when you plug it in, unless you plug it into like a wall outlet, which is a bit different. But if you plug it in a supercharger in one of these like special app things, they need to actually, well, like take the data, see how long you charge for, how much it costs them, what's your vehicle. So there's this process which is called the, ang the handshake. Mm -hmm. And well, for some reason, most, well, most other vehicles were not compatible with, let's say, the Tesla superchargers. So because Tesla superchargers are native to Tesla, well, the Tesla superchargers and the Tesla vehicles handshake is like instantaneous. You're good. It's native. We're good. It's good. But yeah. if you take any other car models and you try to make that handshake, sometimes it doesn't work. It's like, you know, when you, you tried to put freaking windows on your Mac, like did not work. Oh, yeah. So the same process, the same process, mm -hmm. it's different technology, different software. Now, and with all of the other superchargers that are not Tesla, even if you have like, I guess like a Volt, a Rivian, we can say Mac 3, one of the BMWs that is electric, the Porsche that is electric, almost everybody has an electric right now. A uh, Hyundai, you can go, um, I don't know, Volkswagen, whatever you got. Well, this handshake can be a problem. So sometimes it's not that the, the actual charger is not working, it just doesn't want to do the handshake. Your software is not compatible it with be that software. Yeah, they don't, it doesn't don't want to agree. Friends. Like, yeah. yeah. So it's like, pff, it sticks <laughs> it's out like, the plug. It doesn't like, want no, your it's plug. Like, I don't want this. I don't want this inside of me. I don't want this. Uh -huh. That's what the car says. So it's a big problem. <gasps> awesome. It's a big problem. You're there, you're at the charging station, but yeah. you cannot charge. You can you literally shake not, hands. You cannot shake hands. Uh -uh. You, cannot, you can't put it in. You cannot bury the hatchet. Nope. Nope. 
No. So that is why I chose a Tesla Model X over any other EV because I had a Chevy Volt before, but again, that was that was a special hybrid because it was a generator. It was not like, a, it was a gas motor, but it's not a gas motor, it was a gas generator, and then it was a battery. So it was always the gas motor that was generating the battery. That's how it would go. It's not like half and half. So it's a question for another time. But that being said, that being said, I chose a Tesla because Tesla has the most, I feel, so far efficient and wide range of superchargers all over Canada and the United States of America. Mm -hmm. So it's easier to use. It, the handshake goes instantaneously because it's native to yeah. both. So it's, it's just, you don't it's need... It's compatible. Yeah, it's compatible. Yeah, it's like the puzzle piece. It was made for loving you, baby. And yes, it is true. We can we can More plug twice. to any other uh, charging stations. We have not done it yet, so that will be part of future episodes for sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. So we will try that because it takes another nozzle <laughs> to do that. But don't worry, this is going to happen. I'm Piper. And I'm Tessa. And you are listening to the amazing podcast that is called Wild you wait mm -hmm. while you wait to charge your ev we are entertaining you with amazing podcasts videos and everything else on our youtube channel which is called tesla supercharger adventures yeah right now we're talking our gas price is too high come in and fight invite your hater friends invite just one person one person invite one person to be here right now and debate with us about this mm -hmm. now I got like other things here that we need to talk about, but let's go to the live comment section because people are talking a lot. Mm -hmm. mm, we have here, there is one called the Sterling engine. Well, I don't know about all these engines, Ooh, but let's focus sterling. on the EV engines. Okay, let's focus on the EV engines. Now let's put a LS1 engine on a Tesla or a diesel engine to make it better. <laughs> Javier, I love your type of trolling. It's great. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, so um, again, Javier says, Hydrogen engines are the most clean among all engines since they generate water through the pipeline. Yes, you can actually drink the water that comes out of the, you know, the, the, the pipe. For, the pipe. for an ap apocalypse. But, but yeah, because you, you get water to. out of it. But yeah. the problem with hydrogen... Uh, is that, well, okay, sometimes yeah, it, it did explode like every other stuff. But the thing is, you also need a battery to produce the hydrogen. So that's the problem. You need electricity. So because you need electricity, you need a battery there. So mm -hmm. it's kind of like having an electric car plus an hydrogen that makes hydrogen cars. So you have both in one. So just having the electric car makes that, oh, well, forget about the hydrogen and forget about the water. <laughs> We're just going to take the electricity and make the electric car instead of adding all this like other process of the hydrogen when you're already needing to actually develop the battery for the hydrogen to work. I, I guess that makes kind of sort of sense. I when, think it does. I, it makes I, sense to me. We're going to do more research on this because I'm not very like in depth into this. But if you have more like information, please do share it. That's just what yeah. I heard on a CBC radio, but like the actual francophone version, Radio Canada. Mm. There was one uh, man that was talking about this and that's why he said the hydrogen car don't, really work that well because you still need electricity so it's just an add-on it's like the hydrogen would be an add-on to the electric one so why go all the way there when the electric battery already works that's my comprehension of it so far so please do argue in the live comment section right here right now the fight is on <laughs> troy payton hey troy thank you so much for tuning in and being here with us <gasps> Mm, Douglas Dantas says, unless someone invents a new battery in seven years, we'll run out of lithium. Well, actually, they have been inventing new batteries. Like I said um, in a previous one, um, my Tesla Model X uh -huh, has a lithium ion battery. But now the newer batteries that are coming up in models like uh, Build Your Dream, Build Your Own Dream. That's like a, a Chinese. I think if you do Build your own dream. BY, BYD, BYD. B Y like Y M C A D yeah auto and mm. if we check like what what batteries these car have we just okay. do B Y we uh, B Y D batteries. that's a, it's a tongue twister B Y D yeah what is the battery in there because uh, even the new Tesla models like the new Tesla models have a have a new battery too it's not uh, lithium ion it's lithium yeah it's a something. blade blade battery what does it say so the blade battery is a lithium ion 
iron phosphate, phosphate. so lfp exactly. iron phosphate so that's battery. a completely different type of battery so we are making progress on the battery side when i say we i mean like the scientists not me <laughs> we no but we're all in it together <laughs> yeah, exactly. we're part of this we want to learn all this i'm too. not a battery go chemical go. artist go connects, go. but actually you know the okay that's a very interesting uh, story so i'll just go there a little bit but mm. don't go anywhere because this is very interesting so the guy that invented byd Mm -hmm. which is a Chinese electric car company. He started by actually making batteries. So he's a battery oh. chemist. I had no idea that it existed, Whoa, but there's chemists com for batteries. Yeah, yeah. Did he, he's like... He, if you, yeah, study, that's if you go to uni people and he's like when he was younger he's like four years old he's like I, that's all i want to be yeah a, a battery, battery chemist, chemist. <laughs> so oh, he was a cool. battery chemist and his that's company awesome. actually uh did more business to business so he used to make batteries for cell phones so he had like big contracts i'm not sure if i'm mistaken but i think motorola mm. and maybe samsung was so go go do your own research but uh, so he made the batteries for cell phones, like these types of cell phones. And not long ago, I don't know, a few years, seriously, like a few years ago, uh, he started well, to invest with his company in an electric car, a possible electric car. So I think he made some arrangement. He, he bought like another electric car and he tried to make it work. But right now, this electric car, if, if you've been following EV and what's happening in the world, this is like one of the biggest competitors of Tesla and all other electric cars. Because first of all, it's Chinese. Yeah. So they produce a lot. And it, it, but yeah, but, they might spy on us. Yeah, but uh, yeah. Canadians and the U.S. don't want that car to be yeah. brought in because of Huawei and everything we've seen recently with China. Mm -hmm. So they're scared. Yeah, that there's going to be some spying. So they want they don't want to bring them in the American market. Let's call it like yeah, North definitely American, American market. Yeah, North American market. So Tesla is still okay for now, and all of the other like all of the other car dealerships, or would you call it like car? Car dealerships, yeah. yeah, that are doing EVs on the side are still okay because they have most of the market. But in China, this this brand BYD has most of the market. Yeah, like, the, like they have, like they're they're the top market. dogs. Yeah, they're they top are. players. Like they are. from what from what I've read, and that is yeah. at the time of this podcast, people. So if mm -hmm. uh, you hold anything against us, please leave a comment. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna help a lot with interaction. Did you see, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah and check the publication date, okay. just in but case. Look at the font too; it's kind of like Tesla. Is it? Is it? Yeah, a like a bit. little bit. It's like kind of. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh yeah, and they they did like sponsor yeah the FIFA I think or oh, something the like. Oh, Yeah. Yeah. Is to try to get some yeah. uh, some. Well, Football some, Association. Exactly to try to get all of that like advertisement and all that well, stuff. It's in Germany. So batteries, <laughs> batteries like yeah, this BYD. That was actually a cell phone battery company. Wow. Well, upgraded to an actual car, a, a real car that you can get and it's cheap. And so they are using lithium ion phosphate battery because it seems that it is cheaper to produce. And Tesla is doing and better and better. Mm -hmm. uh, so we, we are seeing progress in batteries. Again, we're not at the stage of gasoline yet. Battery is not as efficient as gas. We all know this, but that's that's not the main thing. We know we know it's not that. So we can't argue that. <laughs> yeah, we, that's true. Yeah, we'd have to talk about something else. Yeah, so we don't want better batteries because then while you wait, it's going to take two minutes and then we can do a podcast that lasts two hours. <laughs> yeah, but then we'll still do it. We'll, we'll still on. do it. We'll go on like random so, okay. rants. Yeah, people yeah, that have old well, battery yeah. cars. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, we'll be there. We'll be there for we'll be you here. while you wait. While you wait, anyway. <laughs> while you wait. Yeah. While you wait. We're, we're always going to be there. Love it. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Invite one person here, right here, right now, so we can actually debate on this and have a discussion. Mm -hmm. We are still reading the live comments. Back in the 1960s, Chrysler made a jet car that would run on any combustible. Oh, yeah, I think I've heard of that. What's the 1960s? They yes, even Chrysler. ran it on Channel Number 5. Chanel Number 5. That's like the perfect. Chanel Number 5. It was Rolls Royce? Rolls -Royce? It was a Rolls Royce motor? It was a Rolls Royce motor? Okay, so let's check this out. We have our fact proofing here. So Tessa is looking into this. They even ran it on Chanel number five. That's a perfume, but uh, ethanol or like alcohol is a combustible people. <laughs> so uh, gasoline must like, no, I don't think it's a good no. thing for Chanel. Channel mm. number five, mm. Chanel number five. Mm -mm -mm -mm. But super cool, but not as fast as more modern EV for sure. Oh, oh but that was like jet fuel. 
So, okay. Did you find yeah. something on there? We, we are still looking. Tessa is looking yeah. into it. Do not worry. Yeah. I think I'm possible. So, Will Garcia is saying that they made a jet car that would run on any combustible. I think I heard that, but is it is it like urban legend? Or yeah, is it true? Like, um, is it true? Combustion is a com- it's like a camping oven that you can put in. It's true. I've I've saw. Yeah, it's a I turbine. It's a turbine car, then, right? This I have is what no this is idea. what's coming up. So it is true that uh, I've seen this for camping. Yeah. Tessa, maybe you've seen this for camping. So it's like it's like a little um, uh, flask where you put in any combustible. Yeah. It can be yeah, perfume. It can be alcohol. It can be anything with like sort of combustion properties you can pull channel number channel number five you can put yeah uh, jack daniels <laughs> and then you pump it you pump it you pump it and then compresses it and then it becomes just like a bit of a, your butane oven like yeah. uh, your, your butane burner if you were in like a camping thing yeah so, so it, it's you can for just put things that, like war or like something war, yeah like when, when you need to just the gas is like unavailable or if something's there right exactly. you can use this because actually if this was it was called the chrysler turbine car Okay. So it's a fourth generation so engine. It was Chrysler. It was not roller. I think it was Chrysler. No. Oh. Like, or was it? Thank it you, might, there Will. Might be, there might be two. Thank you, Will Garcia, for this interesting... I'm going to try to. I'm going to look too. Because be, they would be more on point with the Chanel. Oh, because Javier, Javier says that Will is right. So I guess we have a, we have a little bit of like rightness in there. Mm-hmm. Uh, two strokes is a type of handshake. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> True statement. Um, lithium supply will eventually run out. Hydrogen energy and nuclear power would be they a great that. solution to gas as well. They said they that. that. They said that about gas, and we're not running out of gas. We found EV before we we had like the Mad Max problem. Yeah. So um, I'm Mad guessing. Mad Max problem. Well, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. I wanted about. Mad Max too. Everybody we, wanted Mad yeah, Max. That was the first thing I thought of. Yeah. I was super psyched. I was like, Let's yeah, go. we're just gonna like, yeah, yeah, well, yeah. be all dirty and like sandy and just like yeah, and go on like just gas. letting it like purge, but like apocalyptic purge. Uh huh. But oh. no gas, and they just found yeah. some in Iran, and yeah, uh, we we solved the problem. And now most uh, people and like industries are not even using plastic as much. So everybody's trying to really lower their footprint yeah. uh, for the greater good of like humanity, <laughs> pollution mostly. Not the mm-hmm. earth; the earth's gonna be fine, but we're not gonna be fine. No. So that's the thing. Unless you have a Tesla with <laughs> the bio. <laughs> Yeah, and no you're bother. in there, and you're like, <laughs> <laughs> you're good. You buy the Dyson thing. Yeah, the Dyson. Yeah, we're gonna need that. If we're, if we're like, maybe you're gonna need those. Dyson yeah, Dyson. <laughs> just in case. I'd just rather have them because what if like, what if stuff happens? Really yeah, I'll yeah. put it on the list. Because yeah, yeah. if that happens, and obviously they're gonna be off the shelves when something actually happens, uh, so better they to be will. prepared. Exactly. Not that we're gonna be preppers, but like, <laughs> I want to be mm. just a little mm. bit prepared. I don't want to. <laughs> That's fine. I, I respect it. Yeah, we have a fr- we have a cool <laughs> we have a cooler for our road trip that we are going we on cool. tomorrow, sign. people. Mm-hmm. We got a sign. We got a sandwich sign. We're good. Yeah, we're gonna be fine. It's gonna be awesome. And we're not paying we're electricity. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we're not we're not paying electricity. We're good. We're solid. It's gonna happen. What's gonna oh happen? yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Okay, let's see this, what we got here in the live comment mm. section. If you just tuned in, this is While You Wait, mm. the podcast aimed at entertaining you while you wait for your EV to charge at any supercharging station or in your house. That can take even longer, which is great. But because while, we you need sleep, while you sleep. While you sleep. <laughs> because while we need sleep. our charge hours. Mm-hmm. And by charge hours, I mean our watch time on YouTube mm-hmm. so that can, we can monetize this amazing new channel. Yeah. Bring it. Uh-huh. Over the mic. Over, over the, the mic. mic. Under the mic. Under the, yeah. Like over, under? Over, under. Or just go like this. Oh. Bam. 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 <laughs> we'll get this, people. This is we'll like our this. Ford podcast. Yeah. Like, chill out. It's yeah. going to be fine. It's going to f- be fine. It's wow. the fourth one, right? Fourth one. Yeah, it is. Huh. Yes, yeah, fourth official like one, years, just me right? and you. Yeah, fourth yeah, official fourth. one, just me and you. It feels like, yeah. No, okay. we okay. feel like we've been doing this our whole lives. We have. We have. Just it was in another life. It was. Oh, when EVs did not exist. <laughs> okay, let's get back on the subject. Our yes. gas price is too high. This is a fight. So let's fight about it. Uh-huh, let's talk about it. No. Well, so far, gas prices seem to be okay with everybody. Okay, so what do we got here? 
Um, that's nuclear power could be pent. Yeah, nuclear power. Yeah, nuclear powered cars. This is this is also a uh, very cool. The, the the main problem with nuclear is people are really, re yeah, people are really scared about because <laughs> it, when it explodes, it explodes better <laughs> than most other things out there and uh that is the most important thing plus 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 actually uh, the nuclear waste the nuclear waste mm -hmm. so i'm pretty sure some people out there are actually like trying to figure out a way to make nuclear waste not that wasteful <laughs> and uh, for it to yeah. not to pollute as much it's still it's still in there i mean it's it's still within like the range of what people are trying to do i'm sure and we will figure something out at one point and we're always kind of a bit, you know, two steps behind. But it, it's we have EVs right now. Right now yeah. we have EVs. That's that's the truth. They're on the roads. They're they're it's getting happening. there. We're it's getting happening. It. It's like a slow pro like with anything in life. It takes there's patience. Mm -hmm. Yeah, patience so, is a virtue. We don't know what's gonna happen next, but we do know that EVs are here for now. And with this new law that is coming in Canada in 2035, I mean, we definitely, definitely need more EVs because there's they're not gonna be able to sell any gas cars after 2035. That's that's the thing for now. We'll see if that changes, but mm -hmm. oh, oh Katrina. Katrina's here. Yeah, what's up, Katrina? Uh -huh. Okay, Katrina is saying I saw her, I saw the Well, road trip starts tomorrow. Have fun. Thank you very much, Katrina. Yeah, it's gonna be our first road trip tomorrow. Yes, it is. We're going to Cam Loops, so we're staying in BC. Fruit Loops. We're going to Fruit Loops. Is, is it for BC locals? Like, it's time to freak out. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, Kamloops is a bit like northern, northern Vancouver, northern. Northern, northern. We said like North, 344 northeast. kilometers from downtown yeah. Vancouver? Yeah. Sort of, kind of. So, our, our battery range is about 220, 230 if we do like 100%. Mm -hmm. And uh, right now, it's not 100%. That means that we're probably going to need to charge like at least one, maybe two times, depending. At least one time before we get to Kamloops. Then, well, we need to find an activity to do here. We need to find a hotel, motel, holiday mm. inn. We're also going to do a whole bunch of content while we're on the road. Again, this is not vacation for us. This is what we do for a living, people. Uh -huh. yeah. So we're going to be in our Model X and we are going to film and update you on all of our social media that includes YouTube and mostly, most importantly, that includes our Patreon page. If you mm -hmm. haven't subscribed to our Patreon yet, well, please know that there is a part of Patreon that is free. So go there, just subscribe for free. And whenever you have a little extra money because you converted your gas car to an EV, what? <gasps> well, you can take all that gas money that you saved and well support us in our crazy road trip adventures that we can talk more about EV. You can see all the awesome behind the scenes, everything that happens when we're on the road. I mean, mm. there's a whole bunch of stuff that happens and we're not even on the road. Yeah, yeah we we're will. gonna test drive. I have like motor, yeah, EV, like motor sports. Like, yeah, motorcycles. Like electric, electric motorcycles, even electric like, like car, I mean, go-karts. Water sports, anything. Everything that's electric go that you can charge. Go-kart. Go -kart. Yeah, electric go-kart. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Even like a, well, a tractors. Yes. Tractors. I mean, all of that. Oh, we can go to a farm. Yeah. 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 Two girls, one tractor. Two. <laughs> What's up? Uh -huh. see a bunch of chickens around. Like, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. like farm life. The well, you said life. you wanted like, uh, you know, uh, boots. Like one of yeah, those like, like cowboy boots. Cowboy boots, yeah. Same, same. Yeah. Same, same. We, yes, we, we need to boots. buy cowboy boots. This is going to yeah, happen. Just for that. It's going to happen, people. Electric farm. <laughs> Electric Fiber farm and Tessa. on the on the electric farm on the electric farm. This is probably gonna dun, be like a dun, series dun, where we do dun, like everything dun, electric dun, on a dun. farm. Electric weed eater, electric like electric you know angry. electric pickup truck, electric everything. Like electric everything tractor. So it's like old and new, like old like you yeah. know like just like country living, but like electric. So like you electric. combine it together. Nice. Like, <laughs> you gonna be awesome. You, you take two things that like just shouldn't go together that's gonna go that's together. gonna go together yeah. we'll do it yeah. we're gonna do it people we're gonna do so many things i'm in this is just the beginning this this uh, actual channel was started not even three weeks ago so thank you for all of you for being here you guys are all early adopters yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. and this is going really well actually we found our purpose in life we found mm -hmm. our road trip we found our adventures we found our yeah. community so make sure you share this podcast and this channel with anybody that you know that has an ev wants to purchase an ev or is interested from afar or very far in evs i mean this is a discussion for anybody and everybody it's quite there <laughs> <gasps> yes. Okay, yeah, we're trying to convert everybody to EV. That's our purpose in life. Yes, that's our Maxim. purpose. 
Yeah, we finally found a purpose on this. <laughs> We've this. got a purpose, right? Yeah. We've Convert. got a purpose on this planet. We're gonna We're leave our mark, but not it's not gonna be a carbon mark. No. It's gonna be an EV one. And it's gonna be not forceful, it's gonna be gentle. Like, yeah, you're gonna, gonna like it. <laughs> you're gonna, gonna be, you're gonna like it. <laughs> you will not, yes. <laughs> will not <laughs> we have actually who's here? Like Maxim. Hello Maxim! Coucou Pipar, coucou Maxim. I'm not sure what type of battery Ford will build in Tennessee. I have no idea what you're talking about, you're Carl. You're the only 10 I see. Mm -hmm. I'll use this podcast for while I'm charging my phone. Yeah. Nice. This works. This works while you're charging your phone. I mean, if you don't yet have an EV, yeah. the phone is kind of an electric phone. Yeah, oh. you're, well, you're waiting, right? Yeah, because it's, not, charged, it's so. not plugged in in the wall anymore. It's a mobile. Yeah. It's like, so it's like an electric vehicle, but it's an electric phone. <laughs> Same, same, but different. Totally cool. Mm -hmm. Douglas Dauntless says, many people... Where did I see this? Where did I see this? I'm getting there. I'm getting there. So many comments in the live comment section. Let me go back. Many people have trouble trying to charge their cars in cold weather. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. There was a big thing about that because because in New York, there was like a huge snowstorm last, last like storm storm like snow <laughs> last winter last winter and uh, one of the like tesla supercharger and i think maybe maybe more than one i saw that in the news they kind of froze over just like in ghostbusters yeah oh. they kind of froze over and it is it is true that uh, electricity is a bit different than gasoline so yes uh if your battery is also fully depleted and you try to charge it in the cold battery depletion goes down way faster in the cold uh for i don't know what chemical reason that has to do with batteries but uh, your your battery life or your battery charge will go down faster in the cold and then these these like charging stations they were frozen too i mean like the nozzle was frozen it's like, like you know to get out like it was actually like stuck some, in there there's a lot of reasons yeah but, oh, and it's a cold. It's just. But it's the it's the same thing. You know, but you 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 lived in Toronto. I lived yeah. in Quebec. Mm -hmm. And so even in the in the winter, you know, when it's really really cold, you can't start your car because yeah. the battery oh, yes. is dead. The battery is dead. Yes, because and it's cold. Yeah, and it's not. Is so. It's the it's same struggles. thing. It's the same thing with an actual gas yeah. car. The battery is dead because it's too cold. So some people plug their batteries overnight when it gets like that. That minus twenty. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so minus twenty, minus anything. It's just so you plug your car yeah. so that when you when you wake up, it's gonna start right away, <laughs> and it's not gonna. Yeah, You're your gonna battery's not gonna be dead you don't need a boost no so it's the same thing a bit of the same thing but that's mm. true on our tesla model x we got the winter kit so we should be fine and i'm not counting on going anywhere near winter in ever the next again. six months actually <laughs> ever again i'm i'm expelling we're good winter here, right yeah yeah I'm, we're I'm good, good here we don't need winter people we don't need winter if you need winter it's all fine you you do you do your winter oh katrina you do says you, you do you <gasps> Uh, Katrina says, oh, I love Kamloops. My best time getting there is one hour 50 What? minutes or one hour and a half. So she oh. says that, oh, Katrina, the Kamloops, so from Vancouver to Kamloops in like mm -hmm. one hour 50 minutes or one hour and a half. Yeah, one hour and a half. That's like very, very, no, it's only 344 kilometers. This not, it's not that far. Kamloops is not that far from me. Yeah. Well, we're going to stop by there for sure. Yeah, we'll stop by. We'll stop by. Sure. You have to stop by. Because there. like... Well, maybe, yeah. I thought it was longer. Douglas Dunfless mm -hmm. says, I took the train to Kamloops years ago. See, so we got some people who know where Kamloops is. That is extraordinary. <gasps> oh, there's Chuchua. Chuchua. Chu <laughs> we, we, Whoa. We can that, but we stop at Kamloops. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. because yeah, we, yeah, we need to go like as far as yeah. we can go on our battery. Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, perfect. Thank you, it's, Katrina, for telling yeah, us this. Well, you. yeah, if it's like three, 350K, let's say, kilometers, mm -hmm. that means that in a car you should be able to do it in like, yeah, like Katrina yeah. said, an hour. Yeah, 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 of course. It's very close. Hmm. Like, it's like going to Seattle. Like, it's at two yeah. hours and a half, kind of. Yeah, but for yeah. me, it says three hours and 46 minutes. So Katrina really whipped it. Yeah, you were... Oh, that's what I'm saying. Because that's what... I, when I first looked, it was three yeah, hours and 40... Yeah, three hours and 45 46 minutes. And that's just like, you know, Katrina just now. Katrina, what, what, what did, yeah, you, that's what what did you take? There was one... I was like, how did you do that? That's yeah. Like, that's impressive. That is impressive. Apparently, this highway is very... Everyone's, <gasps> everyone hits the highway fast. 
the I forget what the highway is called, but like <laughs> the, it's like an autobahn. That's what I think yeah, it is. Like I think it's Germany, an autobahn. Right? Yeah, the autobahn. That's like that's a train of the, the autobahn. Yeah, this is a secret autobahn. Oh my god. Richard Eckley says it's called a turbine car that can burn anything. Oh, yeah, yeah. So we found the turbine car. It's actually, it's true. It's from Chrysler. Mm -hmm. We found it. It's yes. a real thing. So you can put anything in there and it pff, it, it works. Yep. Tessa, Google the Ford plant in Tennessee. Oh, so the Ford plant. So that's where they actually yeah, make the Ford vehicles. Yeah. So maybe the, all their R&D is there. So they're researching mm -hmm. development. And maybe that's why they're, they're actually trying to develop other things. Ooh, you know, the blue, nice. o blue oval city. Oh, <gasps> Hmm. interesting cool okay thank you thank, thank you very you. much carl yeah. we're Cheers. learning every single day this is so cool yeah <laughs> it really is we want we love what we do yeah love <laughs> learning will garcia one says i wonder if you can run a tesla on one of nasa's nuclear batteries mm. multi-mission radiozotop thermoelectric generator mmrtg <laughs> nice yeah <laughs> okay thank you very much well i have well i have no ideas because i mean the battery is like the battery so you would need to like change the battery and change like the way that the energy is spread to the i guess like the motors well not the motors but like the tires and like the braking system so i have no idea how hard or how mm -hmm. easy it is to actually like switch a battery but yeah, it, yeah it, just, it just says like thermoelectric effects well if it's if it's like you said, it's a nuclear, that means it's like, it's nuclear. Again, yeah. a battery works whether it's nuclear, like, but yeah, a, peace, uh, a peacemaker is nuclear. That's yeah. dope. Because it's... <laughs> Peace... <laughs> like, you're just yeah. like, yeah, I got a nuclear <laughs> peacemaker. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, just like, that's cool. I didn't know that. Uh -huh. But because it, the battery lasts longer bec and because they have to, like, uh, open heart surgery, yeah. they, they find a battery that is uh, okay to last as long as possible without reopening your heart, you know? <laughs> we don't want to do that no. again. So I think the battery... The battery yeah, is good months, like, like, for go. 10 years or something like that for, for the peacemakers. About well, 20 years for 20 a peacemaker. Years? That's really good. Because, yeah, you don't want to be like a car, like a, a car getting serviced. <laughs> every like, six months. Every time, like, hey, we've got to open your heart again. It's been six months. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's, that's not good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you need to change the battery. And it's just even more money because they're like, we also found this wrong with you and this wrong with you. And you're like... <laughs> And you're like, no. Like, I just came in here to just get a touch up. <laughs> and then <laughs> to get an update. Like, <laughs> and like and then the <laughs> I just wanted the update and then they charge everything. Yeah. So, oh, we're going to change your pancreas while you're yeah. there. <laughs> That's true. Like, garage people do that. They you do know? it every time. Like, yeah. I don't trust them. They're going to find something. They're looking for something. They have like something that like yeah. checks everything. And they're like, ah, this is, we'll you get them. You need to change that. Yeah. <laughs> there's, it's like not everyone, not all, not no, all no, mechanics. Tesla, Tesla seriously doesn't do that. Tesla, you no. need to ask for them to change that or else they won't do it. I was like, I need this, 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 and this done for my bottle X because I'm going on a road trip for Tesla Supercharger Adventures. And, and they were like, okay, okay, we'll do it. But if not, they would have not like checked everything unless you're going through like, you ask them, like do a full check. Yes, yeah. and the application. Yeah, the car and the car won't lie to you. No, no, not so. The car, to. yeah, it's like yeah, AI like, is not gonna lie to you. We're just like, no, no, no. we will not. Uh huh. Humans <laughs> do, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah, but the car tells you like, oh, I need this change. And it shows you like proof. It's like here you go. This is what's going yeah. on. This is what's going on with me. Help me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the battery fuse. So the thing I had to change the most in my Tesla Model X within like a year is the battery fuse two times. Mm -hmm. So I had to change it two, t two times, but that's like kind of included. I pay zero dollars for that. They just change it. Um, but then like, again, like the climatization system, the, the Freon, the, it was leaking. So that I had to pay because I wanted to ha for us to have AC and heat while we were traveling on the yeah. road. And Sounds it was cool. making a really weird sound. So I didn't want to have that like for eight hours in the car, like this weird sound. So I had that change. That cost. That was the thing that cost the most money. It was a thousand four hundred dollars approximately. So that that was the biggest thing. But again, that was my personal choice. Some people mm -hmm. run with cars that have no AC. So I don't know how they yeah, do. But that's back the, in the day. Yeah, that's not an EV thing. Oh yeah, tropical even in the island. tropical island on Reunion Island, they would yeah. do that. No AC. They just have their windows down, huh? That it's doesn't so work. hot. It's so hot. And it's like, it's huh. humid, right? It's yeah. Just in, yeah. yeah. You're saying it was like 40 degrees? Yeah, it was 40 degrees Which is like Celsius. 110 <laughs> Celsius, or Thank Fahrenheit. Thank you, because I have no idea how much the conversion is. <laughs> thousand, it feels like you're burning in hell. It, it does. <laughs> it was awful. I don't know how people do it. 
There you go. Okay, what have we got here? We'll go see ya. Peacemaker. Peacemaker is an old... Yeah. Okay, great, great, great. <laughs> Perfect, amazing. So we, we went through all the comments. That's great. Nice. So let's, let's continue this debate. Now, prices of electricity versus gas so are gas prices too high we went a little bit further away when we talked about like all the types of uh, engines type of electric vehicles what we could do with nuclear what we could do with actually hybrids what we could do with the like a different type of battery and this is all great but what we need to get back to is are gas prices too high right now mm -hmm. is the gas price too high What's the gas price is it right yes now? no so let's let's create a poll yeah. this do you have access no, to poll care. no no, okay, I'll, I'll do the poll. So I'll do the poll. Have to poll. So, is gas no polls too? Is gas no, price I don't got the polls. I, too I'll high? To figure it out. We're gonna figure it out. We're figuring out so many things every single day. Yes. Yeah. Yes. No. Yeah. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. I don't. Okay, perfect. Oops. Just like this. Like this. Like this. Okay. There we go. Everybody's gonna click yes, but nobody's gonna. But that's mm -hmm. why we're gonna we're gonna take them up on this because there's a poll they have to. What two thirty nine subscribers now? What? Two thirty nine. Oh, two thirty nine! Yes. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> Thank you so much, everybody, for subscribing. This is amazing. Uh -huh. So Douglas Dantas says gas is too high, but so is electricity. Okay, we need we need numbers. Douglas, tell us how much are you paying for uh, gas per gallon or liter versus electricity? Because here in Vancouver, British Columbia, electricity is cheaper than gas. Yeah. Like it is. But I think PG and E, like if you're in the states, PG and E is pretty pricey. Okay. And they have like cause they have the monopoly. No, no, it won't be as pricey. It will always be under. I think I think it would always I be think. under electricity is always gonna be under yeah because like electricity is easier to produce in general okay some people some countries are still producing electricity v v with like coal mm -hmm. um, hydroelectricity here we have hydroelectricity um, there's a gas like you can also use gas like in the rocks you know there's a special gas they do that in Alberta mm -hmm. uh, you can use uh, you cool. can do it with um, it's it's called well, this kind of yeah it's like the rocks and the the sand there's like a sand and there's gas in there it's complicated but that's a thing um so you can also produce electricity with petroleum again so with mm -hmm. gas you can produce electricity so there's many different types of electricity you can produce you can produce also well not types of electricity but ways to produce electricity with other means now there is also well uh, solar that produces electricity wind yeah, water. Wind, water, hydroelectricity, like we said. So a lot a lot of ways to produce electricity that are cleaner than others. Because again, once you have energy, you can kind of transform this energy into whatever you want. It can be combustion or it can be electric. Yes. Like it's uh, same, same, but different, <laughs> I feel. <laughs> so tell us, tell us, what exactly is the problem with gas prices and... Will it make you change your mind on EV? That's more the question we want to get to. Like, seriously, you've got all of these prices of gas that are going higher. Why aren't you not thinking about going EV right now? So this is the time for you to debate about this. Yeah, let's fight about it. Uh -huh. Let's fight. Let's Come go, on let's out. go, Come let's on go. Out to the ring. Mm -hmm. No one wants to fight. So is gas price too high? Okay, it is too high. Great, 90% of people agree that it is too high. So what are you going to do about it? That is the question. That is like... This is, is, that is the heart of the subject. Gas is too high. Well, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do if gas is too high, for to to get a better like lifestyle, to get a cleaner environment? What what can you do? Douglas Dauntless says in California, gas is around six dollars a gallon, and electricity is zero point fifty two cents a kilowatt hour. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank I you. don't know how to convert these two though. I don't know. Maybe we should add Chad GPT. Chad yeah. GPT. Chad. Chat. Yeah, well, exactly. So how much like six gallons? That would be like so six dollar a gallon. So uh, we're just gonna ask is GPT. Okay, like, six uh, gallons. Well, how many kilometers? How many kilometers? It, of course, it depends on the car. Of course, it's gonna be very subjective. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very subjective. Like, but let's just do like a, a sort of kind of. Yeah, so kilowatts. So you have six dollars for a gallon. Mm -hmm. How how if we take like a sedan? If we ask ChatGPT like, uh, for six dollars a gallon, how far with a sedan car 
How many kilometers with the sedan car go on a gallon of gas? And then we can ask it the same thing. How much with an electric sedan car go? So then uh, we do the yeah. the amount of uh, kilometers. It, <laughs> it did. Right now, girl. <laughs> well, now we yeah, yeah, now we ask that. Well, yeah, now we ask Yeah, we just we sh bad. well we thought about mm -hmm. we thought about the question. So like yeah, yeah. Like we're just like, yeah, we're trying. We're trying. Go. So like yeah, for six dollars a gallon, how many kilometers would a Sudan go? Perfect. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. So ChatGPT is giving us some numbers. Okay, cool. We can crunch these later and then we can figure this out nice, on our own nice, next time. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, okay. What does it say? So one gallon, okay, liter, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. $6 per gallon. So, okay, $6 per gallon. Perfect. Now we'll convert to liters. One gallon, one gallon, blah, 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 oh, blah, wow, blah, blah. This is all the formula. <laughs> okay, great. So... It wants us to think. It would be it would be approximately 48 kilometers. Okay, 48, so 48 yeah. kilometers multiplied by 0 0.52 cents per kilowatt. No, kilowatt hour is not a kilometer. Oh, this is weird. Just add if the if it's 0.52 Okay, okay. So now what we need to ask ChatGPT is, um, so we tell ChatGPT if if you have. <laughs> <laughs> That's very complicated. Douglas, this is like... Oh my god, I was in English, not math. <laughs> a lot in physics and mathematics. Or physics, or, yeah, I was in <laughs> arts. This is so complicated. Um, okay. This is like outing me out here. So far, <laughs> so far what I can tell oh, you... Oh, half I a dollar? <laughs> 0.52? Okay, so Douglas says one gallon is <laughs> around 23 miles, a gallon, depending on the car. And 0.52 equal half a dollar. Okay, but that doesn't tell us like 0.52 cents per kilowatt hour. That depends how much you need to charge your car for a kilowatt hour. How many kilometers is a kilowatt hour? Because last time no. I charged the Tesla, if we go check on the app of like the Tesla, um, I think we took like 39 kilowatt hour. And then we can check how much, how much, it, like how much kilometers that makes. This is like, this is some crazy stuff. So we go charge stats. <clears throat> And now, okay, if I go, okay, I'll just go the la latest one. It's going to be easier because they're, they're all year. It's going to be way too long, people, way too long. So here, here, here. Oh, la, la. <laughs> yeah, yeah we, we need to do like yeah, we'll podcast. Cal like wattage. Yeah, wattage and like, we you know what it is. It's just calculus. So usually there is we a thing a there. We need a calculator. So it says cost per kilowatt hour. Oh, yeah. Cost per kilowatt hour. So I have like 96 kilowatt hour. Cool. And that 96 kilowatt much. hour, that's $64, it tells me. Okay. Equivalent. I think $64. No, total charge, 96 kilowatt hour. And then it tells me like gas equivalent oh, would cool. be $64. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> gas savings, $1,000. i am not sure I trust this, but... So cost per kilowatt hour here, if I charge home, it will be 15 cents per kilowatt hour. But then I need how many kilowatt hour to know how many, how many kilometers. <laughs> this is Elon Musk, call us, call us right now. Help. This is so complicated. SOS, save our souls. I found an online calculator. We don't, the, the calculator is not the problem. It's the actual equation that's the problem. Yeah, the I mean, equation. what do you put in the calculator? Yeah. That's the problem. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's. Yeah. You save. You save. Yeah. Regardless, just trust. We'll, we'll, we, can we can crunch the numbers later, but you so will save. You will save. Yeah. Super easy. <laughs> you will. Super. You'll save. You'll save. Okay. Now we have here, um, K Katrina, where are you, Katrina? I saw you. Buying an EV is really expensive and there aren't a lot on the market pre-owned. I actually bought my Model X pre-owned. Uh-huh, I did buy it pre-owned. So um, because because the EVs out there will have batteries that last usually, uh, the, gar the warranty is mm -hmm. eight years or 150 kilometer, uh, 150,000 kilometers. Some people are getting rid of their EVs before they actually need to change the battery. So you can get um, a, a pre-owned EV. You can, like my Tesla is a pre-owned actually. And then I just took the full insurance so that when the battery dies, which it will at one point, I can change it for a lot less money. So, so by taking this insurance, I assure myself <laughs> that I will be pay paying kind of like, you know, this, this number 
you need to calculate that though in it's like if your motor of the old car that you buy is gonna you know die mm -hmm. well are you you need to change the motor so you need to kind of calculate that within the price that you're paying that pre-owned ev so just put it in there and then calculate the amount and there. that's that's the amount uh, and yeah yes. life insurance <laughs> <laughs> on your dad <gasps> yeah he's, he's gonna he's gonna pay for it when he dies whatever so this this makes a lot of sense so there are pre-owned out there because again i bought mine pre-owned you, you just need to look for them plus if you buy a tesla 2016 and i mean we're in 2024 so you should like hurry to do that uh and the battery has not been changed yet you don't pay electricity in all tesla superchargers yeah so it's free electricity so you're actually not yeah. paying any so which you save even more so, money yes. i know that for sure yeah so getting a pre-owned tesla with a 2016 battery that's means that's that like for the same amount of price you pay like zero dollars in battery so zero dollars in gas too yeah, per, zero, per yeah. Say. like you, okay. you're actually not paying yeah so that makes a lot of sense all right, what do we got here? Hack of all trades, trades says, does your Model X display total kilowatt hour consumed in a lifetime? Tessa, phone. On it. Thank you. So, so far I have one year. That's what I have on here. I have like the year and that's like the year to now. So mm. total charge from, oh, from May 2023 to April 2024, I have 2000 kilowatt. Uh, so that is equal, it says, well, dollar spent, that would be $173 wow. spent in electricity for 2007 kilowatt, as you so can see here. For basically one year. For basically, well, from May, yeah, May 2023, 2023 to April. To April. So, yeah, a year and a so this month. Is pretty, this is pretty good, right? 173 Yeah. 173. It's very cheap. It's very cheap. Sounds Seriously. like someone's like twice in, like, if they go Thank twice you. in a month. Yeah, twice in a month. That's exactly what it is. Like for gas. So to answer, like to answer, um, like of all trades, uh, I have the total last year, but I don't have the total total. I'm sure I can find it because we have like a software. The Tesla Model X has a software. Mm -hmm. So maybe if I go like further down the rabbit hole of the Tesla application, I could find the total kilowatt that has been used. And like, you know, you can find the usage of the battery and all these super interesting things. <gasps> Subscribe right now if you haven't. Yeah. This is a fight. Or bad karma. Yeah. We just lost one. Mm -hmm. yeah. But we got like 21 Whoa, viewers. So thank you everybody for coming here and viewing. Okay, so what we have here? Mm, are there are EV shops that will open your battery and swap your individual cells so it's the same battery but renewed. <laughs> yeah, I that's yeah that's a loophole that's a loophole for the people who bought the t the first teslas that mm -hmm. have free electricity so so that's what will garcia is, is saying that if you swap ev each individual cell instead of replacing like the whole entire battery like the whole pack so you just take the inside and you swap it well then you can still charge for free <laughs> We'll do that and film it. Oh, yeah, we should do that and film it. Yeah. But then we're not insured anymore. No. That's what you need to know. If you do that, Tesla does not insure you anymore. Yeah. Your insurance is over. Anymore. Well, your battery insurance is over, but the rest of your car is still insured. But they, 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 they no more guarantee. You think it's worth it? Uh, okay. It's worth it? Oh, yeah, okay, perfect. Yeah, the battery is like 20, 25 oh, okay. grand. Well, yeah, 25. Perfect. Let's do it just for views and then... You will be paying for the car. <laughs> Super great. This is amazing. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. I'm Piper. I'm Tessa. And you are listening to While, while you, you Wait, Wait, the podcast version of Tesla Supercharger Adventures. Because while you wait to charge your EV vehicle, you are listening to our amazing podcast and you are learning things. You are interacting with our awesome EV community. We're learning things. We're learning things. <laughs> yeah. And we're going to go on the road. Yeah, tomorrow, right, tomorrow. Tessa? Tomorrow. Tomorrow, we're going to go by Kamloops and probably keep going probably further but depending further, i don't know as far further. as we can go yeah yeah sounds good. so an activity in cam loops and then we're going to go further yeah. further further north further, further north yeah there's some like little towns up just there. in case a zombie dawson's apocalypse. creek <laughs> dawson's creek that's like that's gonna take us days dawson's creek is like all the way up there the klondike we're doing yukon yukon yeah let's just keep going <laughs> let's just keep on going until, until there's no polar more bear. chargers <gasps> polar, bear. polar bear yeah. until we're in alaska Whoa. people were coming to the u.s by the north <laughs> by the no <laughs> we're gonna go like the long way around like. exactly Woo! And then take a ferry from alaska to california yeah. <laughs>
There you go. <laughs> nice. We is gas it. prices too high? Yes, 83% of people are saying yes, gas is too high. What mm -hmm. are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about You're gas that no. is too high? Someone, no, at least people say they don't care. Like 17% uh, do care. says no. Mm -hmm. Wow. The meter isn't an accurate measure. When charging, you lose about 20%. Just make, <laughs> make things more complicated. <laughs> Thank you very much. I don't care. How much, how much <laughs> does electric cost in your state per kilowatt? Okay, so that is, yeah, that is exactly it. It depends. So when you go to a Tesla supercharger, uh, they charge you a different price than if you charge at home. Because BC Hydro, that is uh, the mm -hmm. electricity here in British Columbia, well, they have special, special prices. So if a lot of people are charging at the supercharger and it's like noon, usually it's gonna be a bit higher, then you could, you could have like 14 cents per kilowatt. That's what like Andrew told us when yeah. we were in Surrey. So th those would be like really good, like 14 cents would be like really, really good, like low prices per kilowatt hour. But then you can, yeah, you can get mm -hmm. to like these, these thresholds though. So the way electricity um. works for homes, I don't know for like other big businesses and things like that, there are thresholds. So when you go to another threshold, it costs more. And then there's like three thresholds. So it, it doesn't matter really. Well, the time of day matters, but it's more about these thresholds. So if you stay underneath the first threshold, you're going to pay, let's say, 14 cents per kilowatt hour. But then second threshold, all kilowatt hours are at 20 cents. And then let's say they go to 25 when you get to the third threshold. So that's how they do it for actually like, yeah, in-house house places with uh, hydroelectricity yeah, so like residential yeah right so, so did like, you see what does it say yeah like 12.21 cents per kilowatt hour that's the and energy then, charge yeah energy charge and minimum charge and basic charge so the minimum charge would be 20 cents per day that's if you're not using any electricity but still are connected to hydro mm -hmm. that they're going to charge you that just because you need to pay for the wire yeah that's <laughs> it. and they're like services and they're services right Exactly, and the yeah. services, uh, mm -hmm. you know, if something happens. Quebec is still the province, I think, where electricity is the cheapest because it is, again, hydroelectric, but Quebec has huge, huge hydroelectric, like, yeah. dams and things like that, and barrage, that we call them, like Manique and all that. Mm. So this is, like, it was not expensive. I think it was, like, eight cents per kilowatt hour. That's, oh, wow. like, like, but, okay, that's, like, maybe five, ten years ago, but this was, it has gone up a lot because of climate change and like uh, the supply you know in the pipeline mm -hmm. too many people are actually wanting the juice <laughs> at the same time that's why it's at more the same time. is it like Ontario then because it's like at night it, there's like certain hours like from 8 to 10 that you would like run your dishwasher exactly. or like run your um, laundry machines mm -hmm. so it's like it'd be cheaper at these hours or yeah. like you know you can keep your lights on whatever but during the day it was like more expensive there were certain yeah, hours yeah, like yeah, they would yeah. give you I think they would send you like a, a piece of paper saying mm -hmm. This is better for like... So Quebec was a bit low on that because okay. electricity was so available that we didn't need to care for it. A, sure. a bit like <laughs> water, like hot yeah. water and stuff like There's so right. much uh, like water in Quebec. Mm -hmm. That's not like in California where sometimes there's a drought. So they're yeah. like after 10, you can't take a shower yeah. and use water. Yeah. In Quebec, people, they have pools. They water. Showers for days. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You shower for days yeah, in Quebec. Calif but Californians still like water their lawn desert. in a desert. Yeah. It's a desert. It's, like, it's a fucking these, desert. There'd be like these billboards. And this was years ago I'm talking about this. Yeah. Like, this was creepy like they were like <laughs> that the drought was still like it was starting to go into crazy droughts yeah but they'd have billboards with like a canned tuna or like you know those like canned tuna yeah, things yeah, yeah. and like they're like this is how much you should water your lawn <laughs> it has to fill to that <laughs> it has to fill to that like and they're like that's it then you can't water your lawn you anymore do that and literally it's like oh, but, but even in quebec back in the day people would like actually water their, oh, no, sorry, their I asphalt would, sorry i think they would keep it for the sprinklers that go oh, off yeah, right yeah, yeah, so yeah. once it filled that I it's think enough. that's when it was enough. But you're like, I'm not going to like look at this. What is this? <laughs> like, what type of science is I this? I don't know. But it was like such a big thing. Like you can only fill this. The, uh, the tuna can. Yeah. The tuna it can. Was like, that just killed the grass. Just that's kill just the grass. It's a desert. You're putting grass in a desert. That's why, that's why it doesn't work. Oh. So that's the thing. Some places, uh, electricity is really, really cheap. Mm -hmm. Usually it's places where it's a hydroelectricity yeah. that is cheaper. But no hydro, like electric energy, like Euro, some of Europe. <laughs> It's yeah, like, like it's, it's a lot of expensive. coal and a lot cool. of also, I think... Um, turf. Yeah, maybe turf. <laughs> they do the whiskey and then they, they use the, it yeah. to do the <laughs> electricity. <gasps> okay, this is not really information, <laughs> yeah, people. Don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, cool. Okay, so let's end this poll. 
So most people think actually, actually that gas prices are too high. But what are you gonna do about it? Yeah. Tell us, people, what are you get gonna mad. do about it? Get yeah, yeah, get mad, get mad, get mad. I know you're like every time you go to the gas How station, how expensive you're like, oh. is? Dang. That, okay. I'm gonna wait another day because I can't <laughs> afford. Like it's, it went up two cents. Uh, yeah, you can yeah. buy a steak you that can't. evening. Like think you of all the things anymore. you can do. You can't help us out. You have to trade the car for a dog sled. <laughs> yeah, oh. that's that's great. Just yeah, feed your dogs and Electri trade electric dogs. <laughs> electric dogs. <laughs> that's like dog. robot dogs. Robo dogs. Robo dogs. Yeah. Yes, yeah, spot. From Boston Dynamics. Oh, yeah. Have you seen that spot? I have. Yes. That thing. It's that cool. thing. So we're just gonna do Deadly. that. Yeah, by seven and then. Put in on the sleigh. And then we're like, if we're up north, yeah, that's what yeah, we're gonna do. Yeah, let's do dog sledding but electric style. And like an igloo. Nice. Then we just stay in igloos. If it's nobody like, yeah. did it, we need to do it. <laughs> Boston Dynamics. We need we'll head. spot. We need twenty of them to yeah. carry like with our sign too. Yeah, to carry our sandwich sign. Like and then we need to go to superchargers and charge our spots and everywhere. our dogs. Like just all to of connect our dogs them all. are gonna be connected. <laughs> With extension cords. Yeah. This is awesome. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Okay, let's do that. It's on the list. Put it on the list. Put it on the list. Yes. That's so cool. That's so cool. <laughs> Okay, we have uh, Douglas Dantles who says gas was two fifty per gallon four years ago, so six is outrageous. Well, yeah, that's a big, that's a bit steep, and we know everything has gone up. Like every everything has gone up. The pandemic, the wars, uh, climate change, it's going up drastically. It's it's true, but again, it's not going to go back down. I don't see no. a world where it would go back down. Things never go back down. They just go Keep higher and higher. Yeah, until it until yeah, there's a like crisis, economic uh, economic. Yeah, Boom. like 1929, you know? Yeah, like a depression. <laughs> that stuff. Which we're not going to do that. Well, we're, we're trying not, not to, to do yeah. that. I mean, countries are trying not to go there. Yeah. So, <laughs> so trying. We're, we're trying. I don't want to I don't yeah. want to I don't want to no, do it. No, I don't want that either. I, I saw I read the history books. I like that, that was not cool. Yeah. Like people flying? <gasps> you don't want that? <laughs> no. Okay. Now, uh, peak times billing. Yes, yeah, there is mm, peak time what, billing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that's, that is a thing. And but now nowadays, because we have applications and things like that, uh, they're trying to make the population more conscious and educated about uh, how much it's really costing them the electricity and what they can do to reduce the cost. So you have like some great incentives, mm -hmm. like you can play games with uh, your your app for your electricity. Electricity company. I know they do that in Quebec. They do that here oh, with cool. Fortis BC and BC oh, Hydro. Yeah. So you can kind of, you know, know where you're at and you have these little goals. And if you meet these goals, well, they give you like credits and, and oh, special nice. things like that. So, you know, even like doing laundry with uh, hot water only was a thing back then. Now we do laundry with cold water. Mm -hmm. There's a lot, of, too. a lot of things that changed yeah. because like even Tide and all of that is just like pushing that. Now we will get there. I forgot about delivery charge on electricity. So closer to $1 per kilowatt hour. Thank mm -hmm. you very much, Douglas, for putting that into there. This is great. Yes. Um, the deal To deal with gas prices, I got a Civic with a turbo. So I have both 40 mpg and horsepower when I want it. Okay, so you kind of, you're trying... So you chose a vehicle that would make it so you would get the most out of that electric cost in speed. <laughs> Is that what you're saying, Will? I think, fun fact. Adam Savage, Savage, build a pull cart and pulls it with a Boston Dynamic robot dog. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that. Adam Savage, he had like a the pull cart, you know, these like old thingies and yeah. he had like a Boston Dynamic like dog on it and to pull it. That's kind of funny. That's fun. <laughs> we need to do that with it. Yeah, we yeah. need to do that up Mr. north. Mr. Beast would do it. Yeah. Mr. Beast would do it. We can do it. If, if he can do it, we can do it, people. We can do anything. Because this is Piper. And I'm Tessa. On While You Wait, the podcast that entertains you and educates you on everything electric vehicle while you wait to charge your very own electric vehicle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Super easy. Mm -hmm. Now, you can listen to the whole entire podcast because we have a special playlist for it on our channel. Our YouTube channel is called Tesla, Tesla Supercharger, Supercharger Adventures. Adventures. Make sure you subscribe to it right now. Go check out all of the playlists that we had made available for you. We also have short format videos, but the longer format videos are the one we want you to watch. Why? Because these helps grow our channel and get us monetized on YouTube very soon. So please and thank you do that. 
make sure you share these long format videos. They're not that long. They're like, you know, 10 minutes with somebody who actually loves EV and who or wants doesn't. to. Yeah. No, or, or doesn't. doesn't. No, we, we want, want haters. We want, we want trolls. Yeah. All these people trolls, we want haters. We, Not mm. even haters. Just like people that are, that have a different opinion. Yeah. Share it. Yeah. All so of that it. we Bring can have on. a discussion. No one. Re- yeah, n- exactly. Yeah. Because no one really wants to talk. Usually people come and they, they have like a voice and they have an opinion, mm-hmm, but mm-hmm. I don't know. I'm not seeing. Yeah. yeah. We the oh, can we get like a landline phone? Yeah. yeah. Or we have a phone. Like. Yeah. 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 We used to do that via Skype. It works super fine. Oh, via Skype. It's going to be great. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Call yeah, list. Opinion, That's gonna work out. Yeah. That's gonna be available soon, people. Available nice. soon. You can also support us on Patreon, patreon.com slash Tesla Supercharger Adventures. Uh-huh, same exact name. Where we post all of the behind the scenes crazy stuff that Tessa and I do all day long. Uh-huh. And we're together all day long, all the time. Mm-hmm. So there's a lot of stuff that happens there. Oh. Like, there's, not, there's not there's never enough hours in the day to show it all never like, so we are showing it all to you in our patreon exclusive page to yeah. get in there super easy it costs 297 canadian dollars so if in, you're in the united states it's gonna cost you like, oh no sorry 297 us dollars us dollars mm-hmm. so that is in usd and you get access to everything plus this is gonna allow us to actually go on road trips and charge the car and do the maintenance and everything like that so we calculated at 297 dollars uh-huh it's actually like one charge <gasps> one full charge one this full. is pretty good one full charge so that's what we calculated now by supporting us while well, you're kind of pushing us one charge away <laughs> from here one charge, one charge away, away from here so this is a this is wonderful now, the thing that we can wrap this up with is that our gas is prices too high. Yes, they are. Right. We can agree, Tessa. 100 percent agreed. Gas prices are too high. But the cool thing about EVs is that if you actually own a house or a parking or something like that, your gas pump with an EV is your home, right? Yeah, it's like it's like you have your own gas pump in your garage, wherever, like. You can't really park it in your living room, but like <laughs> you can't. Depends I mean, on your living room. Some people might have like the, yeah, the I mean, space, whatever right? Their boat, yeah. Oh, around. Yeah. There yeah. you go. You don't have to park in the garage. No, you can just put an extension cord there. If you don't have a garage, if you have like a even an apartment, it. you just like <laughs> you like down here. So we just like throw the extension cord down throw here. Throw the extension cord. And like and then use the apartment building's power. Power to actually charge your car. Cool. So that's the thing. You always have. Everybody has electricity. Uh, everywhere like pretty much so Mm -hmm. you will always be okay you will always have like this gas pump but electric pump near you which is amazing makes a lot of sense so gas prices are too high what are you gonna do about it leave a comment make sure you share this video and let's solve the world's problems one One. podcast at a time one podcast at a time and one charge at a time yeah one charge at a time thank you everybody for tuning in we are piper and i'm tessa and we'll see you while you wait while you wait in the podcast section (laughs) while you wait in the podcast section while you wait in line for the doctor's office